Hello, hello everybody. We are back again with more Ace Attorney Trilogy. I was debating on whether to play this or Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, and for some reason, trying to get one over on the diddly dang Cyclops won over. So, let us go and diddly dee do. All right, so the first thing that I have come to realize is I should basically not be trying to figure out the Cyclox, like, the moment that I can, because that is just a bad idea. Every single time it's just like, oh, it's just one, oh, it's just two locks, I'm sure that I can figure it out, it's something that I can do, no. <laughs> the game is determined to be like, here's a new thing, you can't play with it yet. Why? It hurts. Okay. Let us go back to the winding way because that's where I think we left off. We were talking to you and then you like brought up the diddly D, the traffic accident and I have no idea because I think it's a two lock. I don't, uh, well, we can just look and see. Actually, yeah, we should just be able to bring it up. About the accident <laughs> incident, it's a two lock, right? Yeah, it's a two lock. The first one being that I need to present to her something that would, like, let her incidentally know about Grey. Also, we have Ami Faye thrown in the profile thing for flavor, I guess. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and save and see if... We can be like, hey, what were you doing uh, burning this piece of evidence? Except she's, like, plain dumb. Okie doke. And, uh... So there's a spear in this, huh? All I can see are a bunch of cracks. And that the urn was, like, put, put together wrong? Either that or she's... L uh, or... Eeny Meeny is lying to me, because it's either I am or Ami that is spelled wrong. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. Because another thing, basically because the game was being mean and evil, I reloaded a save and went through things again uh, so I could get my Cyclock attempts back. That's the side room. Looks like guests can use it as a place to break. So someone tried to burn this. And this key was also found in here. Hmm, I get the feeling this incinerator played a crucial part in this murder. Splendid garden, it's a bit small to walk around, although that incinerator piques my interest, and we've already looked it over. And do I don't, do we still know? Because I feel odd that we can't talk to her about the, obviously you were trying to burn the <laughs> something. So I don't know. We'll walk around everything and see. And yeah, basically, from now on, my methodology for the Cyclox is I am going to go anywhere, everywhere, talk to everyone, examine everything, and then I will muck about with the Cyclox. But yeah. I do believe that my, uh... Like, because, again, my crazy theory of, Oh, obviously they used Pearl to become Maya. And, but, I think instead, Maya did go in there, but that's still an interesting locked door mystery on how they get out, got out. But, considering the photo, the second photo, I'm going to believe that it's you. You somehow got in there. And it's just that you've never opened your eyes, so we don't know what you look like with your eyes open. And that photo actually depicts you. And uh, if we then move in here to the side room. Oh yeah, because I don't think I ever came in here on my reload. The bedding's all laid out today. I guess I'll have to leave them alone. Because, again, I don't think this chest was here when we first came into this side room on the first day here before the murder. So I'm going to assume that this box is where they hid Maya in the mid diddly D. <laughs> Who am I talking to? There's no one here because they figured, ah, we're not gonna change the <laughs> the diddly D. Just gonna make sure we go over everything, examine everything. 
I'm keeping an eye out on the diddly D. That's just the, oh, I can see out into the garden. Diddly D. Because I do believe that we also exhausted everything with Crazy Lady, who is obviously a negative influence. I don't think we have anything to show her. Hmm. Well, let's just go ahead crazy. Show her some things like, uh, I think we showed her the costume. Well, let's do it again. That is Mystic Maya's costume, isn't it? It's a shame. I never thought anything like that would happen to her. But we don't know that it was Maya that did it. Oh, poor Mystic Maya. Do you ever listen to anyone other than yourself? Let's show photos. That's Mystic Maya before I applied the spirit severing technique. In this picture, it was taken without my express permission. I knew a law. I knew allowing a person like that, like her from the heartland to do our country was a bad idea. You do realize that the heartland is a part of this country, right? And that's the same thing. Maybe the urn? Nope, she doesn't care about the urn. Cloth, you don't care about that. Hmm. If there is nothing that I can, like, and again, I'm fairly certain that we don't have what is necessary to, like, get her to talk. Let's see. Oh, time to do the voice! I'm sure it's helpful to you in some way, but I'm still in training, so I don't know anything about it. I'm really deeply sorry. No, 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 it's okay. Uh, I shouldn't have shown something so trivial anyway. I'm very sorry. This feels so weird, talking to a kid like this. So yeah, we're just gonna show various things. Would you like to see blood? I've been showing her this picture of my cause of your trauma. <laughs> How about this? But that that's Mystic Maya's. Ah, I shouldn't have shown her something this violent. I is that blood? Um, it's nothing, really. Just forget you ever saw this, okay? What was I thinking? I can't show stuff like this to a child. How about a knife? I've seen this knife before. Really? Where? M my kitchen. M my kitchen. Oh, that's right. This knife belongs to the phase. I'll skin and cut up some apples for you later, Mr. Nick. Okay, thanks. How about a gun? <laughs> Would you like to see a gun, kid? About this key, Pearls, you found it on the day of the murder, right? Oh, wait, yeah, I think this is the thing that actually activated the locks. Wait, no. Because, I think, yeah, and then I think that led to the lock stuff. Again, it's been a few days since I last played. Maybe we would like to look at this. So you like things about spirit channeling, too? The curing sacred writings are on this folding screen. Oh, is that's what's written on it. There are six lines to the sacred writings. Cleanse thy soul, open the door to the spiritual realm beyond. Converse with the departed. Cast on thy self-protection. Maintain the spell, release the spell. So basically, this has nothing to do with the murder. Well, that's super. Would you look at this badge? So, that's a lawyer's sacred treasure? Huh? I feel like it has a mysterious power, just like my Magatama. Well, if we go by the theory that, like, things you hold dear to yourself hold power, maybe. Hmm, well, I guess I can let her think that's what, <laughs> uh, think what she wants on this one. Well, that's it. I, since we have nothing, I'm gonna go to the right and cool offices. See if anything pops up. If not, we'll go to the detention center and just annihilate every possibility before we tackle the Cyclops. This case has had me out of the office most of the time. I can't come back. I can come back tomorrow. Helping Maya should be my top priority now. All right, to the detention center. Ah, is there actual things? It's things. Hey, Nick. I've been waiting. She looks so helpless. So, so, how was it? What did you find out? Um, well, I found a few things. Is it so bad that you can't even look at me in the eye? I, I just need a little more time. I'll come together by tomorrow, I promise. I'm sorry, Nick. Every time I see you, all I do is cause trouble, except for that time that might be the future where I gave you the information you needed to uh, save that police officer lady. Well, let's talk then. Today's trial. 
So how was it? Today's trial, I mean. You are fantastic, Nick. Every time I thought our goose was cooked, you managed to turn it all around. I bet it would make a great Hollywood movie. Also, one thing that I need to keep in mind during cases now is pay very close attention to things that are brought up during the court, like the blast burn. If anything that is brought up as, like, an important piece of, ah, yes, this is a thing that we're going to, like, have be part of the case, I need to keep it in mind. So that, again, if there is a piece of evidence that should be affected by blast burn, then we can, like, diddly-dee. I need to pick those out because I think that's the thing that got away from me during the trial last time. I bet it would make a great Hollywood movie. Don't be silly. We have to concentrate on the trial. We're gonna win this, Maya. Thanks a lot. Really. Hey, Nick? The person who shot Dr. Gray wasn't me, was it? Of course not. You're completely innocent. If that were true, then I'd be really happy, but... There wasn't anyone else in the room with the two of us, right? Well, did you check behind the folding screen? Um, I took a quick glance, but there wasn't anyone there. Hmm, that's exactly what Lotta said, too. Not guilty. Um, Nick? Yeah? Why do you believe in me? Why do you think I didn't kill Dr. Gray? Because of something Mia told me. My sis? What did she tell you? She said that spirit mediums can't have dreams. When you're channeling, it's impossible for you to dream because your soul leaves you. Now that you mention it... Wait, then... then... I really am? You are not the real murderer. I think that... Maybe before you even called the spirit, you were drugged. Drugged? I think this was planned from the very beginning. And you were set up to take the blame for killing Dr. Gray. That's... that's... I want to ask you something about Pearls. Pearly? What about her? No matter what I try, she won't answer me. I want to know what she was doing at the time of the murder. Huh? Well, wait, Nick! You don't think she did it, do you? No, no, nothing like that. She'd never do anything like that, you hear me? Never! She's a great kid, and really cute, and really great, and cute. I didn't really think she was the murderer. But she's definitely hiding something. <laughs> hmm, you were with her on the day, right? Yeah, the two of us, we were playing with her ball. A ball, huh? Sounds like a dead end to me. Ball! So about this ball, it's nothing really special, just a plain old ball. I think she was still playing with it when I started the channeling job that day. Pearly really loves to play with that ball. She loves to play with that ball, huh? When she wants to get it, she always climbs right into the clothing box. The clothing box? Yeah, Pearly's always hiding in there. Ah, so I guess that may might not be where they hid Maya while she was drugged, maybe. I don't know. You know the side room? There's a clothing box in there. It's really big, so once you see it, I'm sure you'll know what I'm talking about. A clothing box in the side room, huh? Well, that gives us the thing that we need to nail Pearl's lie, and I don't know why she's lying, but she's a kid, so who knows. Let's uh, just show you things. That hole, it looks an awful lot like, a lot like a bullet hole. That's probably what it is. That's terrible! How could this happen to such an important screen? Um, instead of dwelling on the hole, let's focus on the fact you weren't shot. Hey, you're right! So I was the one who was about to get shot, huh? Th that's terrible! Who'd want to shoot little old me? I guess she didn't realize she was the one being shot at until now. The key! Ah, that's... the channeling chambers. This is the only one in the world, right? Yeah. During the trial, I was kind of wondering why you had it. I got it from Pearls. That's weird. I swear I locked the door and then put the key into my pouchy sleeves. Your sleeve? Yeah, and... But how and when would your sleeve leave the room? It didn't grow a pair of legs. I wonder where Pearly found that key. Either there's two of them, or there really is a second one. <laughs> Can't think of anything special about it. Thank you for being nice and quick. And that's a knife from my family's kitchen. I'll never be able to use it again. That's all right. I'll buy you a new one, okay? Ah, that's not the point! I don't ever want to see another knife ever again. Fair. That, that's, that's mine, isn't it? 
Damn it, I upset her again. It really was me, wasn't it? Wasn't it, Nick? This, this is me, right? Guess I really did shoot Dr. Gray. But that's not you. Is two is not. Is two is two. I should have kept this picture to myself. And then it's probably the same thing. But might as well. Maybe show this. What is that? I'm not too sure myself, but I found it just now inside the furnace. Huh? It has trash burning day. Is it trash burning day already? That's not something I would know about. I guess she didn't notice the blood stain. Probably better that way. That's Curane's sacred urn. Mystic Ami's soul is sealed inside of it. Yeah, I know all about it, about how she's the founder of the Curane technique. Ooh, look at Mr. Smarty here. Thinks he knows all. <laughs> Thinks he knows all. You sound like an occult fanatic. Trust me, this isn't going on my resume anytime soon. You know, I haven't looked at this in a long time. I wonder when it became so cracked. So maybe Pearl did break it with the ball. <laughs> but then I would figure that there would be three uh, locks on Pearl's thing. Oh, hey, Lotta. Ah! Ah! Hey, wait! Please, Lotta! She ran off into the manor. What the hell is that about? Why, why did she scream at me and run away? Lotta. Ah! What? Hey! I'm telling you, quit following me, you hear? I'm a worthless piece of trash. You lay eyes on me and they'll turn to dust. Uh. Is this how I'm getting... Oh. Did she go into the... Did she go into the uh, meditation or channeling chamber? Hey, Morgan! Yes, what is it? And must you be so noisy? We have a rule here. The hallway is not for running. Now then, in a calm manner, ask your question. Okay. Anyway, did you see Lotta come by here? Ah, that girl from the hot land. I'm sorry, but she did not pass by here at any time. Ah, uh, Lotta! You sure know how to waste a man's time. Hey, at least she's, like, I don't know, being remorseful about, like, taking the pictures, I guess. Oh, hey, it's the ball! It's a, it's a steel samurai ball. I should have seen that coming. I'm pretty sure I saw a lot of run in this direction, but it doesn't look like she's here. Did she, did she hide in the goddamn box? It's Pearl's ball. Maya said that it was always kept in the clothing box. So then what's it doing on the floor? Pearl's ball taken. Pearl's favorite toy, she was playing with it at the time of the murder, it seems. It's the clothing box where Pearl's ball is usually kept. I wonder what's inside. Ah! What? Well, what are you doing in there? What are you thinking? I'm a bad person. Just another piece of human trash. I needed a hole to crawl into. And she ran away again. So you crawled into this clothing box because there wasn't a hole to crawl into? Oh, man. Huh? There's a small hole in the clothing box. And it's about... Eight inches off the ground. So... Okay, that throws me for a little bit of a loop. So Pearl's ball is usually in the box. But Pearl was playing with her ball at the time of the murder. But this implies that the box was in the channeling chamber behind the screen so that it would look like nobody was there and you'd be like, oh yeah, it's just like a behind the screen thing. And either somebody shot out of the box or somebody would... So, so the box was... Ah, da, 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 da. Okay, idea... Maya went in there. The box was already in there. And... Okay. Pearl might have climbed... Okay. Idea? Idea. 
Pearl went to get her ball, so she climbed into the clothing box to get her ball. The box was then taken by whoever was orchestrating this, probably Meanie Miney and Morgan, and they took it into the channeling chamber and hid it behind the screen. And Pearl was like, oh no, I'm going to get in trouble if I am found inside the clothing box with my ball. So she stayed silent. And then, however the hell happened to get Eeny Meeny in there, where probably, in my opinion... Maya was drugged, she collapsed, Eeny Meeny came out of the Shadow Realm or whatever the hell, with her own set of clothes. Either that or Eeny Meeny knows the channeling technique. But we're not gonna ponder on that. Maybe, huh? But, yeah, Maya gets knocked out in the channeling room, and whoever's in on it, put Maya into the box to hide her... But that doesn't explain how a third person got in there unless... Or, or could... Because here's the thing. The thing that makes me think that Pearl was in the box and was then taken into the channeling room is the fact that Maya said that she kept the key in her uh, pouch sleeve. So if Maya was drugged, passed out, and shoved into the box behind the screen, then Pearl would have been able to get the key. There's a lot going on, but yeah, so this box had to have been in the room, and it's about eight inches off the ground. That's the same height as in the folding screen. Then could this clothing box added to the court record? It's the clothing box of all. I thought I felt my soul take off for a second when Lana jumped out at me. So it's big enough to fit a whole grown adult. Well, she can be called an adult. <laughs> You're still here, but I don't think you have anything to add. Is Lotta here yet? <laughs> oh, Mr. Nick, that person ran by here just now. What person? Um, you know, the person with the fluffy cotton candy hair? You don't know what a lawyer is, but you know cotton candy. You got a messed up childhood, kid. Ah, oh, she means Lotta. She said, don't look at me with my eyes, but I'm not that scary, am I? I don't think that's quite what she meant. Oh, that's right. She also wanted me to tell you. Going on a trip to find myself, so don't you bother finding me. You are a witness to a crime. You can't leave. Oh, well, thanks. You're welcome. Well, I think we have all the evidence we need to annihilate your lock. So, come on, Pearl. Let's destroy your locks. Pearl's alibi. Also, those are some fancy locks. They look cool. Pearl, you have to tell me what you were doing when the murder happened, okay? Um, but what if I just can't tell you what happened? Then I'll guess what happened. How does that sound? What? You can do that? You'll tell me if I guess something right, won't you? Yes. Now, when the murder was taking place, you were right here. In the Winding Way. You were here, weren't you, Pearls? In the Winding Way. Well, you got it. So do you think you can tell me now? I'm sorry, not yet. I don't know, man. All right, what next? Okay, I think I know what you were doing there. Do you really know that much? Well, I am a lawyer, you know. Now, what was it Pearls was doing in the Winding Way? She was playing with her ball. You were playing with this ball, right? Huh, that's right. How, how do you know? Oh, that only got rid of one! Oh, this is deeper than I thought, man. Maya told me that you love to play with your ball. Um, yeah, I was playing with my ball. Uh-huh. And then? Something happened, huh? Something really bad. <gasps> what do you mean, something? No, no, nothing happened. This is it. While you're playing with your ball, this happened. I'm going to guess that you destroyed the sacred urn. This urn. It's a village treasure, right? Uh, um... And the spirit of the founder of the curing technique is sealed in here, isn't it? Yes. What's this? It's cracked all over, isn't it? 
There's even a few gaps here and there. Um, please don't tease me. Pearl, you broke the sacred urn, didn't you? The ball smacked into it and knocked it over, right? And if Morgan found out, she'd get really mad, huh? She doesn't seem to be fighting back. I think I hit Bullseye this time. But it's strange that the lock hasn't broken yet. It's... it's a really old urn, isn't it? I guess? It's old, so it's not that weird to have a few cracks. Her voice is shaking. How can you tell the urn has been broken? Uh... Do I just present the urn again? Because it's obvious. What do you mean, game? But, 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 how do I present the I am on the urn as its own thing, game? What do you want from me? Must have something to do with the... Oh. I go to profiles and present Ami. That's what it wanted. Who started the curing channeling technique? Huh? Oh, um, it's, it was Mr. Kami. That's right. And how do you spell her name? Do you know? How do I spell her name? Um, I don't know. It's spelled A-M-I. <gasps> I thought it was a little odd when I saw I am written on this urn. And that's how I knew that someone must have broken this urn and made a mistake in spelling when they put it back together again. Okay. At least I picked up on it quickly, but it's just like, it's obvious. Unlock six. Oh, it heals me! Yay! Pearl's alibi. Around when Mystic Maya started the channeling that day, I was playing with in the winding way with my ball. And that's when you broke the urn? Yes, I broke it. I, I accidentally let Mystic Ami's spirit fly away. Don't worry, Morgan will never know, okay? I am a bad child. Breaking a village treasure is unforgivable. I thought that maybe they would make me leave the village. But the broken pieces were pretty big, so... You thought you could put them back together, and no one would notice? Yes. Sacred urn. I found some glue and brought it to the hallway and fixed the urn there. The hallway? You mean the winding way? Yes. Poor child. The channeling had already started, so I didn't think anyone would walk by. Okay, so that gets rid of my theory that Pearl was in the box when the channeling was going on and the box was in the room. But that doesn't explain how she got her ball out of the box. The box was then in there to be shot. Hmm. It's very odd. So I didn't think anyone would walk by. Hmm, I see. So about how long did it take you? It must have been a nasty repair job. Yes, I might be strong at spiritual things, but when it comes to arts and crafts, I'm not nearly as skilled. But when I finished the turn and looked up, I saw you coming into the manor. So that's around when Lada and I were coming back inside after reporting the murder. When I saw that, I packed everything up in a hurry. Um, Mr. Nick? What is it, Pearls? I'm... I'm gonna get banished, aren't I? I really don't think that's going to happen. I mean, I bet Mr. Kami's happy to be free from that cramped urn. Yeah, I hope so. No harm done and a happy resolution. Whew. Sacred urn updated in the court record, broken by Pearl right before the murder. All right. Hmm, diddly dee. So I'm just trying to think. What does that help us with? That means that nobody went between the winding way and... Hmm. Yeah, because that proves that nobody could have gone between the meditation room, the, the winding way, side room, and incinerator. The only people she saw was Lada and Phoenix coming that way back from reporting the police. Hmm. But then that also means, then how the fuck did the box get there? Well, let's, uh, box. She doesn't know anything about that. Ball. She doesn't want to talk about her ball. Heresy. Yeah, now I'm just trying to think what the hell does any of this mean? 
Hmm. Maybe we go into the channeling chamber. Box! Doesn't care about the box. Ball! Doesn't care about the ball. Urn! Doesn't care about the urn. Hmm. And I don't think we've gotten anything new for this bitch. Because the only things we got were related to Pearl. Hmm. Maybe present your sister to you? Nope. Hmm. I'm going to assume that we have nothing here. So we're gonna go and see if we can maybe, I don't know, run down Lada? That sounds violent. Uh, I think I found out everything I can. But I can't see how it all adds up. Hmm. <laughs> and is Eeny Meeny being here just a coincidence? Hey, mister. How is it that the spirit Dr. Gray wanted to call just happened to be that nurse? And that nurse turns out to be Eeny's sister. It's too convenient. Hey, Phoenix, I'm talking to you! I wish I knew a little more about Eeny, but where am I going to find info like that? Oh, I get it. You can't be bothered to look over a trash like me. Is that it, Mr. High and Mighty? Ah! Lada! Ah, so you finally noticed. I thought I heard a mosquito buzzing in my ear, although I couldn't understand a word. Well, I gotta hand it to you. You sure know how to chase down garbage. I mean, I'm grateful to you for chasing this large lump of one all around like this. Um, thanks? But you know, you're just wasting your time. I'll be fine on my own. W what are you going on about? And as for following or chasing or whatever it is, isn't that what you're doing? Um, well, you see... Well, you're not exactly a real gentleman with a lady's heart, are you? You're not exactly the world's number one charmer either, sister. You know, I kind of hope that Lotta keeps appearing throughout the games because I could see her being kind of an annoying sister dynamic with, uh... with Phoenix. Today's trial. Look, I'm real dang sorry about today. When I got all fired up about something, it's impossible to stop me. You hurt Maya really bad, Lotta. Um, I don't suppose you can forgive a gal like me. Eh, I forgive you. Because you were trying to do good. Well, I guess I can. You did help Maya out too, after all. For real? Yeah, for real. Ah, thank goodness. I'm still... I'm still what? N nothing nothing at all. I'm just talking to myself, you know, gibberish. Now then, a lot of heart at your service. I'll share with you all the dirt I've dug up. Thanks. Hey, don't be all surprised. Tell you what, I'll even give you all this info for free. Lot of not taking money? Now I know this one's an alien. <laughs> if Maya's not the real murderer then, who do you think it is, Lotta? Well, heck, ain't it obvious? It's that occult freak. You mean any meanie? Well, there ain't anyone else it could be, right? That granny, you and me, we were all together that whole time. So a lot of suspects Eeny, which means she might have already found some info on our mysterious Eeny. Well, first, let's see. Box. Nope, don't know nothing about. That's the thing, don't catch my eye, don't catch my interest. And she calls herself a journalist? Earn. Scrap, nothing. Then the only thing I can think of is see if I can present. Uh, first, let's try Mimi. Nope. And Eeny? <laughs> That's Eeny Meeny, right? Yeah, I was wondering if you know anything about this girl. You know, actually, I did a little checking up on her the other day. Her sister, she's the one that Dr. Gray wanted to call back from the spirit world. Yeah, I heard as much. I had also heard Eeny was the one who introduced Dr. Gray to Kurain Village. You don't say. That's one sneaky gal, if you ask me. Hey, you want me to tell you more about her? Yes, please. Speaking of Eeny, do you have any other information about her? Sure. Well, what is it? <laughs> it'll cost you, and it'll cost you a lot. Oh, silly me. Here I thought free meant no money necessary. That girl was hospitalized about half a year ago. Hospitalized? But why? Well, heck, you can go find out on your own. Huh? Here, yeah, I'll give you the clinic's address. Maybe you can find something out. Maybe. What's that supposed to mean? Well, 
See, actually, it was gonna be annoying, I reckon, so I didn't actually go there. Ah. Well, that's the way the gumbo spoils, right? Spoiled gumbo sounds... Ugh. I mean, look, don't blame this on... Oh, never mind. Looks like I don't have much of a choice. Gotta go check this hottie clinic. Well, new place to go! Where we'll probably find out information on Eeny Meeny and be able to slam her head in a car door. She was hospitalized half a year ago. So this is where Eeny was hospitalized. The fuck are you, a gremlin? Hmm, <laughs> yes. Are you here to visit a patient? <laughs> Ah, uh, yes. Are you a doctor here? Yes, I'm Dr. Hardy. <laughs> ah, I didn't think it'd be speaking of the director himself. Yes, so what can I help you with? <laughs> I'd like to ask you a few questions about Miss Eeny Meeny. Miss Miney? Miss Eeny Meeny? <laughs> yes. Oh, ha! Huh. Ah, it's too bad. I'll tell you something. That girl left here not a long time ago. Here you are. Here you are, sir. No, you shouldn't be up about. Come on, it's back to your room with you. Ah, sweetums, calm down, calm down. Don't be so harsh to an old man like me. Don't you dare start that sweetums thing with me. If you don't behave, you'll get yourself tossed out of this hospital. Wow, I didn't think nurses could be this direct or forceful towards their boss. Come now, be a good boy and give the director his white lab coat. Oh, okay. I got it, I got it. Mm, yes. Um. Yes, uh, <laughs> Don't hmm, yes me. Who in the world are you? I'm Director Hotty. <laughs> the nurse went off somewhere. Oh, the humanity. Only person I can talk to is this guy. Uh. So, what exactly do you train at this clinic? Hmm, yes, we you train all sorts of doctory clinical stuff. <laughs> yes. Doctory clinical stuff? Well, I don't actually know or particularly care about the details. <laughs> <laughs> yes, what is it that, uh, that look for? Uh, yes, there's a really big general hospital around the corner. Yes, when they can't accommodate everyone, they move some of their patients here. <laughs> and you do surgeries here, right? Mm, yes, we do some plastic surgery here, it seems. <laughs> it seems. Mm, yes, <laughs> it seems that way. Plastic surgery, you say? Plastic surgery... Hmm. What do you know about Miss Eeny Meeny? Now you're talking, yes, that girl, she was transferred from the General Hospital. From the General Hospital? To here? What kind of surgery did she need? <laughs> yes, well, she needed surgery. It was really bad. Really bad. So what kind was it? <laughs> yes, well, no, no, you see, that is something no, I can't tell you. So you say with a happy smile on your face, Mr. Director. See, there's this thing about how doctors aren't allowed to talk about patient stuff. It's all in those TV shows too, right? You've seen them, right? <laughs> yes. I'm never going to get him to unzip those broken zipper teeth at his this rate. Oh, that's harsh, Phoenix. There's got to be something I can show this old coot. Maybe if we show him... Plastic surgery. About this person. Mm -hmm. I feel like... I feel like somewhere. I've seen her somewhere before, I think. <laughs> when, when she comes tomorrow for a consultation, I'm sure we can get reacquainted. I don't believe this. <laughs> yes, Eeny. is really cute in this picture. You'd agree, right? Yeah, sure. I wish I could see her again. Maybe the next time she has a big accident. <laughs> yes. I'm feeling... This is making me feel like Eeny Meeny isn't Eeny Meeny, but is actually her sister, Mimi Miney. What if she never died in a car accident? Like, she was in the accident, but she went to the hospital... And maybe through some mix-up, she was declared dead, but was actually moved to this clinic? And then she woke up and wanted revenge. So she got plastic surgery to pretend to be her sister, sent Dr. Gray to the Curane village, where she teamed up with... 
Morgan. Hmm, maybe. I'll tell her for you. Mm, yes, please. <laughs> I'll be waiting for her. Yes, waiting. Maybe if I show him newspaper clippings. Um, so what do you think about this? I see this and, uh, my mind's blank. Why, yes, it's boring. That's why. Boring. <laughs> yes, how do I put it? If you had more, more attractive items, yes. Attractive, huh? He doesn't care about the other news clipper clipping. What if I showed you pictures? Now this is what I'm talking about. <laughs> yes, you're nice. This is a nice and exciting. What do you think? Does anything grab your attention? There's no mistaking this. Nice. Mm, yes, I like, yes, I like this picture. Mm, yes, might if I borrow this for a while for private research purpose. Um, that's okay. I don't think I should support his research. Let's see, is there anything changes? Nope. Hmm. Do I have any evidence that would be relevant to you? Dr. Gray, maybe? Oh, maybe I should act about Dr. Gray, yeah. Oh, dang it. Doesn't care about Dr. Gray. Do I have any evidence that would be pertinent? Hmm. Steel Samurai Ball. So about this girl. Hmm, she is, um, not the best, hmm, yes. But she'd be a great candidate for surgery, hmm, yes, yes. Oh! Oh! Oh, uh, uh, uh. Oh, uh, 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 Okay! Swippity swappity! She didn't die. Her sister is real, but she didn't die. She got plastic surgery to turn herself into Maya, maybe. So she pretended to be Maya, went into the room, and then I guess, but then how did she like become herself more? I don't know, but that's what my mind is jumping to. She got just enough plastic surgery to pretend to be Maya at the key moment. That would simplify things, but then how the hell did the clothing box No, because yeah, the clothing box would have had to have been used to transport someone in there and put Maya into the box. And then once the cops came, they they put the actual murderer into the box and took Maya out so it would look like she did have the spirit severed. Ah, uh. but yeah, that's my new theory. Maybe that Mimi didn't actually die, but instead. That's really the only thing I can prescribe for her. What is he talking about? What surgery? Would you take a look at this person? Ooh, this is this is a superb example of a woman. I'd like to meet her just one time. Bring her to me tomorrow. She'll get special attention from me, I promise. Where does he think he is? This is a medical facility. I really don't want to. Really don't want to. It, it's not relevant at all. This person. Ooh, she's nice. That look in her eye. She looks like a queen. She's glaring at me. My stare is making me choke up in tears. I I was whipped by her, and it hurt a lot. Oh wow! I am so jealous. So did you cry? How did it feel? I cried a little. I think I can't actually remember. <laughs> Oh, it's me! Yes, my tuft of hair. It's so nice to show off my smartness. You should try, too, my new hairstyle that I invented. Ah, that's okay. I'll pass on this one. What am I supposed to give you to advance? I have no idea. Eh? Huh? Um, so what do you know about this? I see this and my mind's blank. Boring. Keep saying attractive. Would you like a gun? Do you find this gun attractive? Huh. 
The only thing I can think of now is to head back. Talk to Eni. And maybe see if, like, revealing that I know Hottie smacks her upside the head. Hottie. See if I can find anything. Nothing seems different here. Hmm. I better not have to show Pearl to the weird man. That just feels uncomfortable to the max. Well, I don't see anything new to show you. Maybe if I show you pictures. Doesn't know who... Maybe if we, like, show you this guy? Okay. Maybe if we go to the detention center? New stuff at the detention center! That is the secret that we're looking for! M mia Phoenix, it's good to see you. I was really worried, so I thought I'd see how things were going. You might get caught on film again. There are certain risks you have to take in life, or in my case, death. Anyway, how are you doing? Have you found anything useful? Um, only a little. I think I'm slowly beginning to understand everything, piece by piece. Everything will resolve itself by tomorrow, somehow. Even though we should have three days. There's still a whole slew of questions for you to answer before the trial tomorrow. You mean like, how did the real murderer get into the room and kill Dr. Gray? Yes. Also, when did the murderer enter the channeling chamber? You guys were all standing around in front of the room after the channeling started, which means that the murderer must have gone into that room before the channeling. That's what I think in any case. But Maya's already said there wasn't anyone else in there. That's true. But if we can't figure out the murderer's motives, we're stuck like a beached whale. Hmm. I never thought I'd see this day. Are you actually asking me about spirit channeling? This case is all about spirit channeling. And if I feel like I don't understand a thing about it, well, that's only natural. After all, spirit channeling isn't exactly an everyday thing, is it? Yeah, I guess you're right. The power to change your physical appearance into the person you're channeling was something our ancestor, Mystic Ami Fei, acquired. I've heard that name before. The Fei family was originally a family known for its service to the gods. When Mystic Ami was born, she was given a certain fate through her name. Because, you see, she was named after one of the Buddhas of Buddhism. Amataba? To this day, her soul is still sealed in the Kyrian Sacred Urn. Not anymore! It usually sits in the Winding Way and has her name written on it. Um, yeah. Aw, oh, come on, Phoenix. It's just a fairy tale. Are you saying that to me? Or, are you saying that me being able to see you is just a fairy tale, too? Well, it's about time I left. M Mia! We'll be in big trouble if the guard sees me here. Phoenix. Yes, Chief! There's still a lot of dirt left in this case. Once you think you've gathered all that you've all the evidence, then come back. Yes, Chief. What did I get from that? That that that, that, that gave me nothing! It gave me nothing! All I learned was a bit about the channeling technique and that army was named after a Buddha. Maybe you're new now? She's fucking gone. Hmm. Are we good? <laughs> Is she going to see the urn in shambles and go, Oh my great Buddha! And yeah, the motherfucker is still here. Do I have the things necessary to break your Cyclops? I don't think that I do! What is even the deliver meant to be? I do not understand this. What madness is it is? I'm just I'm trying to figure this shit out. Okay. We have Hottie Clinic, but that feels like a dead end. 
It feels like a dead end. And I don't know what to do with it. Hmm. Ba -ba 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 I don't think I have everything, because the only things that we've gotten that are new are the box, the ball, we already had the urn, and the profile for the dude. It has to be at the Haughty Clinic. I Maybe I just need to throw everything that I have at him. Like, do you know this? Do you know this? Do you know this? Maybe. All right. Uh, not that. Not that. Not that. Do you know about the Fey Matter? He does not. Do you know about Mystic Screams? You do not. I think we already showed you that. Floor Crimes. He does not care. Dead Guy. We already showed you the gun. Knife? Doesn't care about knife. We already showed you that. Earn! We already know Samurai Ball. Uh, Scrap? Okay, the, the, the badge! Badge! Yeah, that, this is, I think this is the, like the first time the badge has actually progressed anything. Ha! Ah. <laughs> What's this? I'm a lawyer. Right now I'm investigating a murder. <laughs> yes. What is it with your angry face? Violence isn't the answer. <laughs> yes. The trial's tomorrow, and I would really like some information from you. <laughs> is that right? Well, you know, I think I can let you in on a secret. What's that? <laughs> yes, actually. I'm not the real doctor. Are you kidding? Anyone have a fly's brain knew that? Eh, what do you mean? Do I have to explain this to him? Well, hold on. I'll give you something real information, okay? I'm actually this clinic's, see, I like this clinic's uh, walking dictionpedia. You mean walking encyclopedia? <laughs> yeah, that. And my specialty is in young, silky smooth, haughty patients. There's nothing I don't know about them. But then I get embarrassed talking about it. Yeah. How about you keep that kind of information to yourself? <laughs> anyway, you wanted to know about Little Miss Eeny Meeny, right? Little Miss Eeny Meeny? That girl, I remember her especially well. Really especially very well. Alright, well, the badge you progressed things, apparently. Please tell me about what you know about Miss Eeny Meeny. <laughs> yes, I'll get to that. Trust me, I will. That girl, that's right. She was transferred here from the General Hospital. This was yeah, a year ago. She was one of those emergency cases. What was she ill with? Ill, <laughs> nah, nah, nah. She was injured, not ill. With my trained eye, I could see. If I could see, it was a huge wound at that. Huge injury? Her whole body was wrapped around and round in bandages, and her arm was in a cast. That sounds... Pretty severe, all right. <laughs> yes, it was an accident, an accident. The scariest cars, yes. Car? You mean it was a traffic accident? <laughs> yep, that's what gave her the terrible injuries. I swore it was in the papers. Yes, I looked it all up, I did. It was terrible indeed, yes. Dare I even ask what's wrong with this old guy? The operation. Just now, you mentioned something about a big operation. <laughs> Are you talking about Miss Heaney's operation? Yes, Miss Heaney's. That, uh, that one was one heck of an accident. <laughs> yes, her whole face was burned like bad toast. It was bad, very bad. Was it really that bad? <laughs> yes, it was a good thing that Miss Eeny had a picture of herself. I heard that picture was uh, how they put her face back together. Picture? That girl, she... She had, uh... She had just gotten her license. So she just happened to have a license photo on her, yes. Oh. So, see, I got a picture as a way to remember her, yes. Well, more like swiped. Um, breach of ethics? Oh, wait. What? what? A pretty girl like her? I bet she has lots of pictures of herself. Mm, sure. It's a treasure. My treasure. Precious. What happened to the actual license itself? Who knows? I didn't bother to ask. It probably got burned up along with the car. Yes. <coughs> Eni's photo for her driver's license. I'll have to compare that to her actual thing. Um, so you looked up information about Enya's accident, correct? Yep, yep, sure did. Mm, yes, I read every paper that covered it at a time. What kind of accident was it, do you remember? Mm, yes, hold on. I'll go get it for you, the article, I mean. Huh? Y you have it? Well, 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 don't get me wrong. I thought something like this might come up, so... Obsessive to the max, but I bet I could learn about how to stay on the lead from this guy. <laughs> 
Ah, uh, here we go, here we go. <laughs> yes. According to this, Miss Edie was at the passenger seat. So she was at her sister's accident. Her sister didn't get out of the car. The person that was kneeling in front of the blazing car was Eni. The passenger seat, huh? And dozing, or so it says. A strong jolt woke her up, and the next minute a sea of fire was all around her. Miss Eni fought with the door, finally got it open, and somehow managed to get away. Anywho, you can read all the details. Oh. Okay, my floundering has, I think, come down onto a new thing. Uh... Eeny Meeny's dead. Mimi survived. Mimi Meeny survived the car crash. And her sister, Eeny Meeny, died. Mimi survived, Eeny died, Mimi became Eeny to escape Oh my god. She killed her sister. She put her sister to sleep with sleeping drugs, crashed the car, and from the accident burned her features and used her sister's identity to escape her bad situation and now has come back for revenge against Mr. Gray. Oh. Anywho, you can read all the details in this article, yes. Was her clipping up to updated in the court record. A new clue, I should probably look this over. It's been half a year since Vecini had her surgery and got better. She was discharged some time in December last year. It's already been half a year, huh? Um, yes, so how was I? I was a real help, wasn't I? Um, yes. Yes, thank you very much. Um, yes, well, then I'll get back to my room then. Tell Miss Eni I said hi, okay? Um, yes. It's time for me to leave, too. Yes. Ah! Okay, it's definitely time to leave. But yeah. Mimi is dead. Killed her sister, I presume. Huh. Hey, so how was it? Did you go to the clinic? Yeah, I found out a few things, I guess. What's the matter? You ain't looking so well. Ah, yeah, so earlier that old granny called the cops. Huh? The cops? Why would Morgan call the police? She said she had something to tell them. Things are sure getting interesting. Oh, boy! Ah, but honestly, I tell you, that granny sure got her bloomers in a knot. Well, I guess you could put it that way. It always starts out small, you know? Stealing the master seed and controlling the village folk. And now you see what how it's turned into? A murder, that's what... Yeah, what a mess. Hey, hold on! What? That stuff you were just talking about. That's the first I've heard of it. <laughs> really? Well, it's old news to everyone else in the world. Well, excuse me for not keeping up with gossip while I'm busy saving people. You said something about stealing the master's seat? Yep. Right now, the master is this medium named Mr. Fay, but the one that was really supposed to be the master was that old granny. Morgan was supposed to become the master? Do you know where Eni is, Lotta? Yeah, I saw her not too long ago. She's hanging around the garden in the middle. Okay, thanks. You got something to ask her? Yeah, I've got a whole list of things only she can clear up for me. So I hear the master has always been the eldest daughter. The eldest daughter? Turns out the old bat is Mr. Faye's older sister. Oh. They say the older sister is usually the one with more spiritual power. From the think of it, Maya said the same thing a long time ago. But then Maya is the one that seems to have more spiritual power but Mia died and now seems to have more spiritual powers ago, so who knows. She warned me not to take Mia's powers lightly. Well, anyway, somehow, granted they lost her younger sister, Misty. I see. This made the townsfolk turn against her, so I hear. Said all sort of things, too, like she's the oldest and yet she doesn't have the power to be the next master. Disgraced. Wow, I had no idea. So what would have happened had Morgan been stronger? Maya's family be would have been the Branch family, I reckon. Nope, doesn't care. All right. But now my question is, what would lock, like, mess with the diddly D locks? All right, so she's not here. The only thing left, I guess, is... Oh, are we going to get new information maybe from her herself? Hey, like, I haven't seen you in a while. 
I'm, I, everyone's becoming Lada. Yeah, I think I have enough to finally unlock her secret. Like, what's with that scary look on your face? He thinks we have enough. Is that driver's photo really all that we need? Updated. It was updated. May 24th, last, late last night, two women's car crashed into a highway center divide of the whip. Divide. One of the women was not able to escape the flaming wreckage and died at the site. Ongoing investigation has revealed that the driver had fallen asleep at the wheel. I was like totally tired and dropped off to sleep. Then there was this crash and like I woke up in a huge sea of flames. I was like still half asleep, but I opened the right door and got out. And like got out. I don't like remember anything else. If Miss Eenie Meenie is to be believed, the one driving the car was her sister Mimi. Mimi was the nurse at Gray Surgical Clinic, so this is what I need to be like, ah, you know her. Or like you know Gray. Present! Break down your walls! Traffic accident! Please tell me about the traffic accident. Huh? Like, whose accident? Your sister's accident, naturally! <laughs> Take that indeed! Oh, um, oh, yeah. So, like, that Dr. Gray guy made my sister fall asleep. And, like, that's all I have to say about that. Hmm, interesting. Any just act who's a asked. Because you're Mimi! She must know something about another person's accident. Alright, let's change the topic then. How about you tell about a certain other person's accident? Huh? Another person's accident? Like, you got someone in mind? Bibbidi bam! This one's my favorite R, uh, favorite Ace Attorney case is definitely either A or S tier. Gonna have to replay it sometime. So far, it has been a very interesting mystery with a bunch of cool characters and twists and turns. And, like, I'm liking it so far, even if the Cycloc mechanic is kicking my ass a bit. Oh, wow. So, like, that person had a car accident, too? You can't tell me you don't know. Like, how would I know if that person, like, had an accident? Oh. Besides, like, I'm an occult fan, not an ambulance chaser like you. What do you mean? Th this is the thing that has your name on it. Yeah. Another person's accident, like you got someone in mind. Do I have to show you your profile? I have to show you your profile. Got it. I want to ask you about your own car accident. M me? Yes. So, wow, like, how strange. I have, like, no idea what you're talking about. Can you, like, prove I was in, like, an accident? Okay, so that's the thing. Uh, the other thing that's tripping me up is that they're using the profile present system a lot more. So it's just bouncing back and forth, back and forth. It's the only one in JFA with reasonable difficulty levels, if not for one stupid proof on trial one. I would have beaten the whole thing without having a reload to save. I think I might know the proof that you're talking about. Is it the blast burn on the robe? <laughs> the next one has some dumb logic leaps. Oh, boy! Well, I still liked, uh, what's it called, uh, Rise from the Ashes, so surely the logic leaps won't be horrendous. Always compared to that one. At least the first part of that one. I still like Rise from the Ashes. Definitely bumpy, but it was cool. Would you take a look at this? Look at this newspaper graph. It's a newspaper article from one year ago. It says, Miss Eenie Meenie holds interview about Crash. Now I'm talking about the black key and my head left the room. Oh, yeah, that part. Yeah. Oddly enough, that one didn't bother me as much. I, probably because my brain was already on fire. Eh, maybe it bothered me, but I forgot. <laughs> it was a very wild ride, that one. <laughs> I love Rise from the Ashes, too. It's also an S tier for me. Yeah, like, Rise from the Ashes is definitely cool. It's weird. It has its issues, but it was very enjoyable. Then the fourth GFA case had uh, several instant game overs. <laughs> Oh, 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 no, that's gonna be terrifying to face. Oh, oh. Ah. You suffered a very bad injury and had to be admitted to a hospital, correct? L like, wait. What now? Th that's not me. Huh? I mean, like, this person has, like, the same name, but she's totally not me. My name, Eeny Meeny, is, like, pretty common. What in the world are you babbling about? Your sister's name, Mimi Miney, is in here too! Like, uh, totally, wow, what a scary coincidence! I'm totally getting, like, goosebumps! 
think I'm going to let you get away with that. So, like, now what? Like, do you have something that totally says I was hospitalized? Is it your license photo? This is your proof. Like, what's that picture supposed to mean? I got this from the hospital where you were hospitalized at. Huh? So? There was a certain patient there. He's quite a fan. As a memento of your stay, he stole this. I have to say, this photo looks a lot like you. That creepy fake director! That's one down. Now are you ready to tell me about the accident? Like, wait a sec. Okay, so, like, I was in an accident, sure. But that's, like, totally not related to this murder. Actually, it is. Look at this article. It says that one of the women died, correct? And? That woman who died, who do you suppose they mean? Do you suppose the woman who died in that accident could be... It would be hilarious to present to herself, because, again, I swear, you have to be Mimi, who drugged her sister. Like, I don't know I don't know why that part, but it makes sense to the idea that Mimi survived the car crash, and her face was super burnt, and she used her sister's uh, driver's license uh, to get plastic surgery for her burns to look like her sister and pursue vengeance against Dr. Gray. That's my theory. Maybe she didn't drug her sister, but it's very convenient if that's how it happened. But maybe it could have been an accident where she did fall asleep at the wheel, crash. Her sister died. She lived. She pretended to be Mimi to then later go after Grey without reprisal from Grey in the future. I believe it was your sister, Mimi Miney. Mimi. You were riding in your sister's car while she drove. The two of you were together when the accident occurred, making it one in the same. Oh, we just needed one for that one. Nice. Unlock successful and healed. I like that mechanic, that you heal after the Cyclops. Very nice. Yeah, I was riding. That hesitation, I totally think you're Mimi. Riding in that car with my sister. We were, like, on our way home. I was riding in the passenger seat when I fell asleep. And then it happened. At the time, this is further proof. Mimi's, uh, Eni's side of the car is completely on fire. Mimi's has a, an exit. Without any spoilers, you're thinking way ahead, which I would not have done this early in my AA career. I, whenever I play this game, I go like, maybe it's this, maybe it's this. I look for all things. You should have seen me last time where I theorized that Morgan had manipulated Pearl to become Maya somehow, to then go in as with Maya possessing Pearl, and then Pearl as Maya would then summon the spirit of Mimi who would then do something. That was my initial theory. <laughs> also, this is one of the best reminisce themes. Yeah, the music in all these games so far has been fantastic. At the time, I grabbed from my purse and escaped from the passenger side door. And your sister? I, I, like, couldn't do anything. The car was full of smoke. I couldn't see anything. Oh, I'm sorry. But yeah, that, that image, the fact that the, the driver's side door, unless, again, unless it could be a holdover from, like, which side do do Japanese cars have the wheel on? Because it could be, it could be that it's just a, tr a localization issue. <laughs> Did Dr. Gray really cause that accident by drugging your sister with sleeping pills? Like, he was totally out to get my sister. He totally did that to, like, pay my sister back. Japanese drive on the left. Driver's uh, seat. Uh, uh, left side of the road. Driver's seat on the right. So so that actually would be. It's just like my American knowledge of, like, ah, driver's seat is on left. Which would, <laughs> would push me towards that conclusion even more. But eh, who knows. It's a bit weird that the, uh, well, the, no, it actually is. But wait, they actually translated it to be got out of the right passenger side door. So even then, huh, who knows? I wonder. This does give... Maybe they just flipped the image? That could have been an answer to the, <laughs> to the thing. They could have just flipped the image for localization. 
This does give Eni a good reason to want to murder Dr. Gray. <laughs> it seems simple, doesn't it? What do you mean? But it would be very hard to catch me. Actually, I'd say impossible. Are you just admitting it? What? I think you get the picture. I'm going to serve you a slice of humble pie. I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> what the fuck do you mean? Okay, so she's... <laughs> she went creepy mode. Is there anything in the side room? There doesn't seem to be anything in the side room. So that's still a thing, an idea. Da -da -da -da. I'm still trying to think, because that box wasn't here initially, so I do believe that that box was taken into the channeling room before everything happened, and maybe somebody was hiding in it. They came out, knocked Maya out somehow, but then Dr. Gray wouldn't have... Would Dr. Gray have gone... Is that why he... There was a... Ba -ba -ba -ba. So I'm assuming this is the second AA game you're playing after the original. Yes, I played the first one, and now I'm playing this one, and now I'm just going on super mode. All right. There is a bullet hole in the clothes that Maya wore. The clothes that the actual one, like, wore has no bullet hole. If we assume that Eeny Meeny was in the box behind the... the the diddly dee pang. Maybe. But then, how would. Because I'm just trying to think. Everything is wonky. Maya would have to be outside of the box. Dr. Gray would have had to shoot at Maya to some capacity to put the bullet hole in her. Uh. Her sleeve. And then. That bullet hole, that bullet would have made a hole in both the screen and the clothing box. And then, if somebody was in that, like Amy Meanie, she would have come out maybe after Maya had succumbed to sleeping pills that she was given earlier? I don't know. And then she might have charged at. But it's Maya's knife that was used to stab him, and then his own gun to shoot him. This is all wacky, but well, I'm sure we'll get answers eventually. But, uh, I guess we'll move along then. I don't think there's anything... Again, that's just a very weird thing to say. She's gonna serve me humble pie. She's a weirdo, wacko, crazy person. Looks like something's up. Stop! Stop! Leave my mother alone! Ow! Hey, hold on, okay, pal? I'm not gonna hurt... Pearl, dear, it is perfectly alright. I will be out for a short while with, uh, with this young man. Mother, please, let me go too. <laughs> ah, that voice cracked. Let me go too. No, you must stay here and protect the manor. But... Oh, don't make that face. Hey, I'll tell you what. I'll show you something cool. Here, look. It's a real pistol. Detective, do not upset me further. Why does he keep trying to show people his gun? <gasps> ah, sorry. Cool, I like this one. The third one is even better, and the Great Ace Attorney games are best of all because I felt like a genius playing them. I also have those on Steam, so I can't wait to get to them. Poor Gumshoe. Being dragged off by the ear like that by Morgan now. Mother. What the hell was happening? Mother, this has never happened before. Pearls. Mr. Nick, I have a really bad feeling that I can't shake. I think something really bad is going to happen. I'm scared. I'm really scared, Mr. Nick. Say something, Phoenix, anything! Uh, I'm terrible at this. I've heard Ace Attorney Investigations 2 is amazing, too, but I only just started it. I'm also gonna have to play those ones. Cause... Uh, just to, I, Cause they, uh, star, uh... Blah, blah, blah. Edgeworth. They star Edgeworth, so I think that might be fun, especially because there's, like, a weird chess mechanic, I think? That sounds interesting. <laughs> Mr. Nick, what about, what about Mystic Maya? She'll be all right. I think I've gathered enough evidence. Mystic Maya, she must have felt all alone. Please, Mr. Nick, go visit her. Yeah, but I can't just leave you here all alone either. I I'll be fine. Please, Mystic Maya needs you by her side. Her stare is really piercing. Uh, A1 has the dumbest ending of all time. <laughs> well, that'll be fun to experience. Hopefully it's a, a fun dumb. 
And not a bad dumb. You kept me waiting, Phoenix. Mia! So, how are the preparations? I think I have enough evidence and information now. I think. Yeah, chess and AA2, but not AA uh, Investigations 1. Meh. Everything will be on your shoulders tomorrow. Whether Maya's found guilty or innocent, it's a heavy weight to bear. This is the second time! <laughs> Granted, Maya was on the hook for like one day, and then I was on the hook the other day, I think, so who knows. Hmm, if memory serves, Mia had a few psych locks of her own. I'm gonna save in paranoia. Mia, I'm ready to unlock the last piece of information I need now. Sure, I welcome you to try. The murderer. Mia. Yes? Mia, you know something, don't you? About the real murderer, I mean. <laughs> she glares and instantly chains. Three motherfuckers! Why do you think so? It's really trying at times to be able to see other people's secrets. It looks like it's time for you to explain your reasoning. Yeah, a battle of wits against Mia. Uh. Oh boy! <laughs> a boss fight it feels like! Especially because I am not good with the Cyclops just yet, and I don't even know... Hopefully the game will give me some good hints to what I need to present to you! Phoenix. Who's your favorite AA character so far? Oh, I don't know. Because some of the one-offs in the case... Well, I guess not really one-offs, but... Like, the witnesses can sometimes be funny, but... I really like Miles Edgeworth. I, Edgeworth is really cool. Then there's... Uh, Maya is also pretty neat. Gumshoe is fun. But I'd, I'd have to say Miles. Miles Edgeworth is just... He has so much to... Oh, but... <laughs> So far, favorite, like, quote-unquote villain has to be Von Karma. I'm just sad that I won't be able to do his voice again. Because doing a deep and threatening voice was quite amusing. All right, well, boss battle time. Phoenix, you think I'm hiding information about someone from you. Isn't that right? Yes. All right, then. Tell me who you think I'm protecting. Yeah, that's fair. My most favorite come from, uh great ace attorney, but I like Miles. I think that you're protecting Morgan. Morgan Fay, of course. There's no one else you would protect like this, Mia. Wow, that one was fast. Well done, but while the murderer was being committed, my aunt was outside with everyone else, which means she already has an alibi. That's true. Show me some evidence that would cast suspicion on my aunt. Suspicion on the ant. I also like the big boss villain from Apollo Justice and the defendant in the final case of that game. I also want to get to Apollo Justice sometime. Hmm. Hmm. Is it the cloth scrap? No, that would implicate... Show some evidence that would cast suspicion on the ant. Is it the clothing box? Because I don't need to go super crazy, but let's see. There's the key. That's... Things that tie back to Morgan in some way. The key, the folding screen, but that doesn't really seem to be too important. I would say... Is it the key? My evidence is this black key. At the beginning of the channeling, Maya had possession of this key. And yet, somehow, it magically ended up in the incinerator in the center garden. You're right. There's only one person who could have done that while I was busy calling the police. The person take. Yeah, Morgan did was the only one that could have taken the key from Maya, but... Hmm. That's the thing. Because I think my brain was thinking... Oh, wait, no. Bah. My brain was still kind of lagging behind because I forgot that Pearl had the perfect alibi and couldn't have been in the clothes box in there and could have taken the key. Blah. Because my brain was still like, ah, Pearl had the key, but she got it from the incinerator. Yeah. What's that look mean? Your argument is too flimsy. Huh? When did the key find its way into the incinerator? 
It could have happened long after the murder happened. No, not long after. Do you have a favorite music track from the series? I, I forget what it's probably... Oh, there's so many good ones. I really do like the music that plays when you're like... Uh, in the middle of like objecting multiple times and that it builds. I forget if it's called like... I forget what it's called. In, uh, is it like the cornered theme from the first game? I think it's cornered. But a lot of the music kind of uh, blends into the moments to be epic. I forget them unless I'm listening to them specifically. Someone could have found the key somewhere and dumped it into the incinerator. But that's... That prosecutor would use something like this to shred your case. Other than just the key to cast suspicion on Morgan. I think so. <clears throat> Let's see. Something other than that. The box! Nope. We don't have time left. I shouldn't even said anything yet. I'm trying to think. One piece of evidence. Do you have anything other than just the key to pin suspicion on Morgan? Pursuit cornered, I do believe that's it. I'm just trying to see. Trying to think. Let's eliminate them one by one. It can't be the newspaper clipping. It can't be the Magatama. Can't be the guide map. Can't be the newspaper clipping too. The folding screen isn't related to Morgan, I think. Especially if the, the box isn't. She was outside, so the knife wouldn't implicate. Eliminate them one by one is my go-to strategy, too. So, yeah, let me just quickly jump back. We already have the key. Is it the floor plans? Could it be the floor plans? No, because that's not connected to Morgan. The autopsy report? No, because Morgan wasn't in the room. She was outside, so that doesn't do anything. Pistol, same thing. Everything was resolved when, when Morgan was implicated. Knife. Like, maybe it does belong to the face, but it has Maya's fingerprints. The costume. The cloth scrap. Came to me in a moment of epiphany. This is the other piece of evidence that points to Morgan as the culprit. I also found this in the garden incinerator. It's the same material as Maya's costume, except for the splotch of blood. But this piece may not even be from Maya's costume. But this is what Maya told me. While I was channeling, the key was sitting inside my sleeve. And both the key and this piece of cloth were found... Uh, and both the key and this piece of cloth were found inside the incinerator. Which means that this piece of cloth was part of Maya's costume. But when Maya was arrested, she was wearing her costume. That just means someone changed her clothes. Changed her clothes? But why? I don't know why. But there's only one person who could have done that. The one person who was taking care of Maya, my aunt. You did very well, Phoenix. Thank you. As long as you have those two pieces of evidence, you can cast suspicion on my aunt. However, however, like I said in the beginning, my aunt has an alibi. Yeah, she was with us the whole time. Here's my final question. You don't have to present solid proof for, uh, this, uh, for, uh, for this for me. But I want to know, if my aunt is the culprit, then how did she commit the murder? How she did it, huh? Accomplice! I want to hear your thoughts. In order for my aunt to murder Dr. Gray, who or what did she need? Eeny meeny. Eeny meeny. She's the answer to the final question. Which means that my aunt and Eeny meeny were in cahoots! But why were you lying about it? <laughs> were you? Did you literally know that I had the Magatama and you were like, ah, I'm going to test his knowledge and stuff. That's actually kind of cool. Oh, but let's see. Murderer! She needed an attorney's badge to stab Dr. Gray in the heart. <laughs> with the power of attorney. With my power of attorney, I stab at you. Attorney Moon. Something's been bothering me all this time. This crime is something no normal person could carry out. 
the person who would have to know a lot about Fame Manor and the village itself to do this. But Morgan already has an alibi. Yes, which is why I can't figure out how it was done. We can assume that Eeny Meeny is involved somehow, but we have one big problem on our hands. A problem? With what? We don't have a motive. Why would Morgan want to kill Dr. Gray? Why would she have to? That's the thing! She doesn't want to kill Dr. Gray. She wanted to frame Maya so that she can take temporary control of the village as the master while Pearl grows up. And when approached by... I'm trying to think. But that still leaves the thing of Eeny Meeny meeting with Morgan. But at some point, they met and somehow came to the conclusion... Hmm, I'm trying to think. Because Eeny Meeny is the one that told Dr. Gray to come to Curane Village to summon her sister. So it's just like, when would they have collaborated to decide Eeny Meeny would draw Dr. Gray to Curane Village to get her revenge which Morgan would then use to frame Maya for, so she could take over, and consequently, her daughter, Pearl, could take over. Also, we don't really know for sure that she was cooperating with Eni. Mia doesn't have a clue either, huh? Hmm, then there is only one possibility. Huh? Think about it, Phoenix. Why would my aunt do something like this? And why would she do it in such an underhanded fashion? Um, because... Mother, she's the one who holds the key to this. Not, to go, not gonna lie, you're doing really well. I went to the second trial with only half a health bar. I did so bad. This is what I call the hardest AA game, though. I definitely feel it. The first, the tutorial case was long. <laughs> but fun. Also kind of wacky, and it kind of has a plot hole, I think. Where the defendant lady was... Was she there when her boyfriend died? Was she not there? <laughs> Did the killer guy wait until she left to then shove her boyfriend off the, the second story? Who knows? Mother? Whose? Mine? Don't be silly. Mine, of course. Misty Faye. Me and Maya's mother? Why would she bring her up now? Now then, looks like we've gathered everything we could. All we have to do is win tomorrow. Everything will become apparent then. Right. Right, Chief. We won't lose. Also, just gonna say there are a few plot holes in what you're speculating about that never get explained. Ah, eh, figured. Again, there was a plot hole in the last one of this, uh, this game, so it shouldn't surprise me that much. So long as it isn't a plot hole that, like, stabs the logic in the face and makes it hard to figure out, I think I should be fine. Um, Nick? Yeah? Did you know that Von Karma's daughter is only 18, just like me? Um, yeah. Why? I was just thinking about how strong she is. I mean, she's been in Germany all this time by herself, and she's all grown up. Yeah, and I'm sure she's felt a lot of pressure from her father's reputation. All we have to do is win tomorrow. Never say that in an AA game. It's not. <laughs> I'm the daughter of the Master, but I'm still just a little girl. And on top of that, I'm the suspect in a murder trial. Um, but I think you're really strong too, Maya, for all that you've gone through. Good morning! The two of you look like you're doing well today. I'm happy for you. Hey, morning, Pearly. You'll be safe today, Mystic Maya. Huh? What do you mean? My mother's coming to- Uh-oh! Uh-oh! She's not coming here to save the day, she's coming here to fuck shit up. Yeah, yeah! That's right, Pearly. Hey, Pearls. Yes, Mr. Nick? Um, do you think you could do me a big favor? Could you channel Ma Mia today, too? Huh? I was so hoping to sit in the audience today and watch. Please, it's very important to me. I don't feel confident enough without her help. Mr. Nick, that's enough. You can't show weakness in front of the person you love. <laughs> Pearly, not this again. Please, can you do this for us, Pearls? Um, all right. I'll do it. I'll do it for Mystic Maya's sake. See you later, then. I'll leave you two <laughs> to your alone time. Pearl is adorable. Still freaky as hell that Pearl becomes Mia. Nick, this way, 
This way, pearls won't be able to see today's trial. Oh yeah, that's true. W what do you mean? What's going on? Bad things are happening in the Fay family. Court is now in session for the trial of Mayor Fay. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Let's see if I can butcher the German accent even more. Let's start already. Mr. Phoenix Wright, I look forward to tonight's news of great joy. To be honest, Phoenix Mia is one of my more preferred AA ships. I don't like Wright, uh, Wrightworth or the one that uh, comes up in the third game that much. Yeah, I just, uh, I think it's mostly just Wrightworth is only born in the same way that the Sonic Shadow Ship is and the Naruto Sasuke is. There's emotions surrounding them because they care about each other and there's kind of an animosity and they fight for each other and they're important and it's a big story thing, so blah. Oh, I meant uh, Phoenix May Amaya, but they're both good. <laughs> it would be kind of weird to be with Mia considering he would need a Fey to channel her 24-7. That would just be a weird relationship. Exactly, I love it, but it's just not a ship. Well, it is a ship, but it's uh, one that doesn't really jive with my feelings about the characters, but I can definitely see why other people get that feeling from them. And I think I skipped a thing, darn. <laughs> All over the world, huh? Sounds like you've made quite a name for yourself, Phoenix. Don't be foolish, you foolish fool wearing the foolishly foolish clothes. The famous one is me. I'm the prodigy who has never lost a case since becoming a prosecutor five years ago at 13, yeah. Imagine losing to a 13-year-old prosecutor. Naturally, the world's eyes are on me as I conduct my first trial in this country. Uh-huh. That's nice, Miss Von Karma. Hmm. <laughs> Glad to see you're in such good spirits today, Miss Faye. Granted, it is... I do like, uh... What's her name? Franzika? Because she did... Ha, she's the first one to really notice that Mia is Mia. And I enjoy that. Uh, it's really true what they say. Women really are scary when they fight. Uh. Now then, a very interesting theory was presented during yesterday's session. That the defendant could have left the channeling chamber, correct? Yes, and this key is proof of that. This key, the only key to the channeling chamber, was not where it should have been. Your Honor, I would like to say one thing before we begin. Uh, all right, let's hear it. The prosecution has determined that from the time of the murder to the time of the arrest, the defendant did indeed leave the room at one point. W what? Well, she was unconscious. But, Miss Von Karma! Then how do you explain this picture? Are you saying, then, that the person in this picture is not the defendant? I never said that wasn't the defendant. Th th then what is the meaning of this? All I'm saying is that Maya Faye, after killing the victim, exited the room. And I believe that is when she dropped this key. Can you substantiate your claim? Isn't that what I'm here for? The prosecution would like to call the defendant's aunt, Morgan Faye, to the stand. Just as I suspected. Aunt Morgan. Poor Mia. She really ha she must be really torn by this. Ah, the bitch. Witness, name and occupation. My name is Morgan Fay, and I'm a spirit medium in a manner of speaking. I'm sorry, but what do you mean in a manner of speaking? Ah! I don't think anyone really cares. Now then, after the murder took place, you kept watch over the defendant, correct? Yes, that is correct. I performed the spirit severing technique on Mystic Maya then. Spirit severing technique? A technique to remove a spirit from a body and send it back to the other world. That is... Yes, that is... Oh! You, be quiet. Now, witness, something happened while you were performing this technique, correct? I don't know if it's intentional, but Morgan looks like she's drinking tea, a uh, green paint rather than tea. Maybe. I think it's just, like, how that cup is, like, designed and it's aesthetic. Because I think I have seen cups like that elsewhere, and that's just how they look. But, yeah, it definitely does look a bit wonky if you think about it too much. W what in the world could have... Mystic Maya, she escaped from the room. What? I don't believe you. 
and here we come to the ha. Oh, ha, 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 ha,
Happy, witness elaborate on that point for us. I'm afraid I have no knowledge of where she went after that. Is that because you were unconscious? Why, yes. Great. Well, now what? Question further. So while you were unconscious, you have absolutely no idea where the defendant went. I would think it's obvious, good sir. If that's true... Then how can you know for sure that the defendant left the channeling chamber at all? Now that you mention it, I have to wonder myself. It's true that the witness is not able to confirm this, but the key word here is this witness. What do you mean by that? It means she has another witness up her sleeve. That's what. It looks like Miss Von Karma is all ready to move on to her next witness. I can't see a crack in her testimony. What should we do? For now, we should try and get more information out of her. After we get more information from her, we may be able to use it as uh, later to our advantage. All right, let's press on everything then. Just now you said those two. Who are the two people you're referring to? I was referring to that foreign lady and yourself, good sir. Um, Lada's not a foreigner, despite how she talks. Oh, is that so? I'm sorry. I simply could not understand her atrocious English, not to mention she looked awful. I can already see people in the Heartland gearing up for a riot. <laughs> in any case, I have already sent the repair bill to your office, Mr. Wright. Oh, uh, thanks. Hmm, what did you do after that, Miss Faye? I requested. Let's just see. Was it really necessary to have two people do something as simple as call the police? If there was a possibility of escape, then one of us should have stayed behind. Hmm, yes, that is a very good point. At the time, I myself was a little confused, on top of which there was another. Another what, madam? Oh, it, it's nothing. No need to concern yourself. She was talking about... Eeny meeny! I want to hear the end of that sentence. There was another reason you wanted both of us out of that room, wasn't there? You must testify! Why did you chase us out of that room? I simply do, did not wish for there to be more victims. The lives of both the good sir and the camera woman may be in danger, is what I thought to myself. Well, that was very noble of you, Miss Faye. This is bad. Now people have a good impression of her and a bad one of us. Looks like she caught us napping. That's my aunt for you. That's enough. From what I can tell, there is nothing wrong with this testimony. And from what she has said, we can establish that Maya Faye did leave the chamber. Hmm, I hope this isn't going to come back to bite us in the butt. Now let's take the next logical step and ask, where did the defendant go after leaving the channeling chamber? They're going to bring in any meaning. Frack. Be quiet, you. Now then, what the escape he had done was, uh, was she had gone to speak with a certain person. She, she went to speak with someone? Who was it? The prosecution calls Miss Eeny Meeny, who was sleeping in the side room at the time. Eeny Meeny? I think you can see where this is headed. Witness, name and occupation. Um, okay, so my name is like Eeny Meeny. I'm like researching like parapsychology stuff at the um, university. Remember to stay hydrated while you get boxed in by crazy psychic people. What is this parapsychology? Um, uh, let's see. It's like, I guess, most people call it occult stuff. Even if that's what most people call it, I can't say I understand what it means. Then I suggest you go home and research it yourself. Yes, sir. Now then, Miss Meany, after the murder took place, you spoke of the defendant Maya Fay. Is this correct? Um, well, um, like, I guess... If that's the case, then let's hear your testimony. That is all right, isn't it, Your Honor? Yes, sir. For the love of all things good, Your Honor, have some spine for my sake. After the murder. Like, uh, when the channeling started, I was, like, sleeping in the side room. Like, a little later, someone came into the room, like, really suddenly. It was like, oh my god, totally my sister. I, like, hadn't seen her in, like, so long. I was so happy in, like, a sad way. My sister, she, like, told me something, like, totally terrible. Now hold your horses, young lady. You're saying the person that entered was your sister? Don't you mean the defendant, Maya Faye? 
really now, Your Honor. My F.A. was still in the middle of channeling at the time. Are you saying that the spirit was the spirit of this witness's sister? Yes, Mimi Miney. She was a nurse at Dr. Gray's clinic. I just mixed and matched Franzika and uh, Mimi there. Mm. Oh, well, this is... Witness? Like, yeah? In your testimony, you mentioned a terrible thing. Why don't you tell the court what this terrible thing was? I'm sure we'd love to hear about it. Um, like... Do I totally, like, really have to? Of course. Miss Miney, please. My sister, like, this is what she said to me. That was no accident. I was drugged with sleeping pills. Ah, it's replaying the opening again. I was murdered by that person. That's why I took my revenge. It's only fair, isn't it? Eeny? She took her revenge. Are you sure that's what she said? Yes. There, are you satisfied, Your Honor? I still can't believe it. I can't believe that a spirit would go so far as to use a medium to get revenge. It is a bit hard to swallow. However, all the evidence and testimonies point to this as the truth. Then why don't we arrest the spirit? Eh? The end. What do you think, Mr. Wright? It only seems like all the loose ends are accounted for. This... This testimony just now, was it all made up? Was it just one huge lie? Of course it was, Phoenix. Mia, what do you mean? It's well constructed, but that's all it is. But even the most well-spun lies can be undone. We can do it, Phoenix. Let's find the one that loose thread and unwind the tapestry of lies. Your Honor, there's room for doubt, so the defense will cross-examine this witness. We believe that our cross-examination will reveal the real truth behind this murder. Yet again, the foolish fool spouts out more foolishly foolish drabble. I wonder if you'll make this one more entertaining than the last. I just fear that someday one of the Ace Attorney games will pull a dick move and have it be where you did a thing really early on in a case, like, or a trial period, and then late on it's just like, ah, oh, you made this mistake, you lose. Let's ask about this, get all the information. Was that because of your, um, sesame allergy, was it? Like, that's right. I, like, think there were sesame seeds, like, in the lunch they served that day. I had this, like, premonition that it was going to totally be a seedy day. Yes, indeed. Hmm, I see. Am I the only one who missed the boat here? Anyway, so you were taking a nap. Did something happen while you were sleeping? Like, a little later, someone came to the room, like, really suddenly. Do you know the time? Um, uh, like, maybe a little before 11 a.m., something like that, I think. 11 a.m.? Yeah, like, my stomach is totally ready for, like, food. Ah, no, I think you misunderstood me. I'm not asking what time it is now. I meant what time it was when someone came into your room. Oh, so, like, that's what you meant. Like, you should have been more, like, clear about it. Sorry, my bad. No, it's okay. Like, it's really... That's it? Why'd you stop this sentence? I felt bad for Eni on that level because it took me two weeks of crashing headaches to realize I was allergic to almonds. Ugh. I have not. I do not have an allergy as far as I'm aware. They definitely sound terrible. Did I? So, like, what was I talking about again? Never mind. Witness, about this person who entered the side room. It was like, oh my god, totally my sister. Are you absolutely sure? I guess. You guess? Was it or was it not your sister who entered? Like, I don't know. I mean, like, I totally don't know your sister at all, Mr. Smith. First off, my name is Mr. S is not Mr. Smith. Second, I am an only child. Hmm. But more than that, she's managed to mess up the question with her answer. Well, Mr. Wright, the, the defense rests. Well, that was a colossal waste of our time. Now then, witness, how did you feel when you saw Miss Mimi Miney? I, like, hadn't seen her in so long. I was so happy in, like, a sad way. 
you were happy in a sad way. Yeah, like, I mean, it was my sister. But wouldn't most people react here with surprise at seeing a dead loved one alive again? Um, but, like, maybe if I was, like, someone who didn't know about, like, the occult, but, like, know all about the curing channeling technique. The point here is the witness immediately recognized that it was her sister. Yeah, like what she said. Hmm, should I drop this line of questioning? Let's go further. Further beyond! So you really didn't think anything strange of the whole encounter? No, like, there wasn't any reason for me to, like, think anything was strange. But... Ow! Don't keep badgering her. You know the phrase objection? Could you try using that once in a while? Mr. Wright, the question of what the witness felt when she saw her sister, is it really that important? It's very important. It is very important, although I haven't quite figured out what it is yet. But I've got to bluff her now and make it seem like I know what I'm talking about. All right, Mr. Wright. Miss Miney, please amend your testimony. Like, okay, I'm like totally cool with that. I wasn't, like, scared at all, and, like, her costume looked, like, totally normal. So there was nothing odd at all about your sister's appearance. Amy seems like the ultimate example of someone who went to university, thought it's a fun party, and picked the most useless major humanly possible. Personally, I think she took her major for revenge. Like, yeah, nothing was, like, weird. Hmm. Hmm, Mia's talking to herself like she's found something wrong. That's impossible. Like, is everything okay? Can I, like, go on? My sister, she, like, told me something, like, totally terrible. Just hope Mimi made enough money in her time to pay off student loans, because I have no idea how you can make money as a parapsychology major. Something terrible. What was it that she told you? Huh? Like, didn't I just, like, tell you about it? Did you, like, forget already? A foolish fool with a foolish sieve for a brain only speaks foolishly with foolish words. Well, excuse me, princess. Anyway, should I ask to hear it again? Why not? I'm sorry, but could I hear the story one more time? Like, sure, no problem. I'll even, like, tell it a spooky-like for you. <laughs> that was no accident. I was drugged with sleeping pills. I was murdered by that person. That's why I took my revenge. It's only fair, isn't it? Eeny, eeny, whatever. Like, how is that? It was a little scary. Like, I'm sorry, maybe I, like, put too much spookiness into it? I know there has to be something here I can use, but where? She really put a lot of thought into this lie, didn't she? We can't rush this. Let's take it slowly one step at a time. She's bound to slip up somewhere. Don't give up, but don't get careless, okay? Remember, calm and collected. I wasn't, like, scared at all, and, like, her costume was, like, totally normal. Let's press this one again, see what happens. Are you absolutely sure? I guess. I guess. Was or was not used to... Oh, wait, nope, this is the wrong one. I'll quickly save. And then we'll... Oh, maybe I need to press on this again. Or did I press on this one already? So there's nothing odd about your sister's appearance. Like, yeah, nothing weird? Hmm. Nothing odd about your sister's appearance. I feel like this is the one I'm supposed to object on. <coughs> My sister's appearance was totally normal. Her costume looked... Blood. Oh, now I remember the contradiction. I think I caught it just too. That was a very well-spun lie, Miss Eenie. 
What are you babbling about this time, Mr. Phoenix Wright? It's well constructed, but that's all that it is. Stealing my lines now, are we, Phoenix? Miss Meany, may I remind you of what you said? You said that there was nothing strange about your sister's appearance. Like, yeah, and? But I don't think that's what you were thinking at all. Take a look at this picture. This is a picture of the sister you met. Okay. Okay, I like this. Thank you, game. The game allowed you to point out to either bloodstained thing, either the picture showing a bloodstained kimono, spirit medium outfit, or the bloodstained thing that you have yourself. So, that, so the game is programmed to take either one as an answer. That is grand. Good job, game. I would think that even you would be surprised if someone appeared before you like this. The blood spray. Miss Miney, why did you not include the blood you saw in your testimony? If you were really testifying and not lying, you would have noted it right off the bat. Um... Order! Order! Miss Miney, what is the meaning of this? It's definitely an improvement. I like it. Miss Miney? I'm thinking! Don't interrupt me! Um, that... Oh! And what are you stammering about, Your Honor? Um, uh, well, I... I, uh... That witness. Her personality did a complete 180 there. I think my theory is correct and she is Mimi. Lots of people do that when they get on the stand. Lots of people do that when they get on the stand, though. First of all, calm yourself, witness. Like, I'm sorry, I, like, didn't mean to snap. Now hurry up with the testimony. Uh, if you please. Uh, the judge still looks a little shaken up. A lot of help he is going to be. After the murder part two. After the murder part two. Like, the side room was like kind of dark, you know. It is not, you whore. So like, the costume is like purple, right? The blood totally blended right in. Lies. And I like persuaded my sister it wasn't like right to do something like that. But she already did it. She already murdered. And then like, I took my sister to the channeling chamber. Hmm, yes, now I see. And you have given us a clear reason for why you didn't notice the blood. You think? Like, thanks, Gramps. Are you satisfied, Mr. Wright? All right, I guess not. <laughs> I like that he knows us so well that he looks over. It's just like, nope, Phoenix is not, <laughs> not satisfied at all. Well, let's get a go. Like, the side room was kind of dark, you know. Really? Because I thought it was pretty bright inside that room. Don't put your subjective opinions on this court. Like, that's right. Um, excuse me, but how's my statement any more subjective than this Miney's? You are such a hopeless cause. Witness, you may feel free to ignore this little man. Like, okay. Uh, I can't breathe. Let me out of here. So, like, the costume is like purple, right? The blood blend... Uh, the blood totally blended right in. You didn't see the blood? Like, yeah. But she must have had the gun with her at the time as well. That's, um... Are you going to tell me next that you didn't notice the gun either? I, like, totally didn't... Uh, all I was looking at was, like, her face. Hmm. Continue. And I, like, persuaded my sister wasn't, like, right to do something like that. And what was your sister, Miss Mimi Miney, like at the time? Well, she was, like, totally flipped out because she just shot Dr. Gray. But I think, like, she knew. She, like, said she did something really bad. And, like, she said she wanted to go with me to, like, apologize to Miss Morgan. Did Mamie's spirit really say all that to you? Like, yeah. But then why weren't you there? And again, the linchpin will have to be Pearl because nobody did this. And then I, like, took my sister to the channeling chamber. Was your sister calm by that time? Like, I guess so. I guess maybe, like, taking revenge on Dr. Gray, like, made her feel a lot better. I'd like to feel a lot better, too, Mr. Phoenix Wright. The sooner the better. She says that with her whip at the ready. And, like, Miss Morgan was the only one in the channeling chamber, you know. May I ask you one more thing, Miss Miney? Like, sure. Was there anything you found strange, unusual, or just out of place? Something out of place? Like, like, what do you mean? Uh, when? Um, when you... We're going to the crime scene. 
I'm talking about when you were going to the channeling chamber, of course. Um, like, no, nothing strange. She answered rather quickly. Press harder. Think harder. I know you can remember something. I, like, totally can. That's not good enough. You have to explain clearly to this court. Hmm. Do you think, Mr. Wright, w that whether or not there was something odd on the way to the chamber is important? Very. I ask because it's very important. Not that I know where I'm going with this. Very well. Miss Miney, if you will, please include a statement about this in your testimony. Like, I don't get why, but okay. I, like, didn't see anyone on the way to the channeling chamber. You have fooled yourself, you fuck bucket. Try to remember that time. Oh, like, I remember. I remember, like, I totally didn't see anyone on the way. Hmm, I guess that really is a dead end. Something you've, uh, finally pull out of witness is never a dead end, Phoenix. It's no good. I can't find anything wrong. Phoenix, the judge believes this testimony. If you don't find some sort of hitch in her statement, he'll end the trial. I know. We have to give it another shot. It doesn't matter how many times we listen. We can't give up. Like... What do I present? Hmm. What do I present? The only thing I can think of would be to present Pearl's... Like, hey, Pearl is meant to be there. That's the only thing that I can think of. Let's go down the evidence. Because, again, this is the important thing that we got out of it. Didn't see anyone on the way to, like, the chamber. Didn't see anyone. Hmm. Well, I'm going to shoot my shot. You say that you didn't see anyone on the way to the channeling chamber. However, that is impossible! Like, what do you mean? I'd like to introduce to someone to you. This is Miss Morgan Fay's daughter, Pearl Fay. Interesting, you have a semi-intelligent look on your face. So, what about this child? It just so happens that at the time of the murder, Pearl was playing in the center garden. The garden? Yep, which means anyone walking through the area would have seen her. So, Miss Miney, what do you have to say to that? Oh, that's horrifying! Oh! As the court can see, she's a bit of an airhead. Also, she was leading her sister at the time. Do you honestly think she could have noticed a simple child playing? Preposterous. Franzika's next argument, she's so small you wouldn't notice her. I noticed her multiple times, and she was silent when talk to me. It's not preposterous, and I can prove it. What sort of foolish... There's no way someone wouldn't have noticed Pearl because she was fixing the urn. This urn is my proof. An old cracked clay pot? What is that going to prove? Do you know why it's cracked? Because Pearl broke it. That's why. She broke the urn? Yo! Why, why do I feel like you're about to ruin my beautiful day? This urn was broken around the time the channeling started. Ah! And the Pearl and Pearl was the one who put it back together. While sitting right in the middle of the winding way. Again, that's just horrifying. <laughs> Miss Miney. <laughs> one time I was touring a historical boat, touched someone on the shoulder, and said, Oh hey, it's a fake man. Then I realized it was a real person. <laughs> that is a weird that is a weird moment. Pearl was there in the winding way at the time. She was hard at work putting the piece of the piece of the urn back together, you see. If you couldn't see that while you were walking, I'd have to you declare I'd have to declare you legally blind. I think I've sufficiently proven one thing, Miss Miney. You are a masterful liar. Again, horrifying. Mr. Wright, you need to watch what you say! The one who needs to watch what she's saying is the witness! So, Miss Miney, tell us the truth. About what? About what? About where you really were at the time of the murder, of course. The witness just testified about that. That's right. I was, like, sleeping in the side room. Can I 
you really believe her? Was she really sleeping in the side room? There's no way! Your lies in here! What do you... what do you... The witness says that during the actual murder, she was asleep in the side room. And I say that's not possible, because there's clearly a contradiction here. A contradiction? Where is this contradiction? Ooh. So I hate to say it, but I'm on Eni's side here. Why would... Well, I guess because of your anecdote, but still. Where's the contradiction? Is it in the evidence? Could it be the clothing box? Could it be the cloth scrap? Okay. I kind of wish that the game had, like, a testimony record so I could read back on what was said. Okay. It's either in her testimony or it's in the evidence. I mean, literally her testimony is... Like, proof enough because Pearl would have noticed Maya being possessed coming her way, or of both them leaving. You get that in Gre Greatest Attorney. The transcript is a great feature. Great to know. Hmm. Because, technically, we do have a contradiction in that she was burning this cloth scrap. And this is not a contradiction because it has nothing to do with her testimony or the evidence. Hmm. Well, best to save. Yeah, I do love the help me, Mia! But I think it's... Is it in her testimony because... Earlier in your testimony, Miss Miney, you made the following statement. And, like, Miss Morgan was the only one in the channeling chamber, you know? It's true that at the time, both myself and Miss Hart were not there. We had gone to call the police. So? Like, what does that, like, have to do with anything? It's very simple. Miss Miney, how did you know that fact? How? I can see that Miss Fay was the only person in the channeling chamber. However, someone who was asleep in the side room could not have known that. Pro tip, you don't get penalized if you ask Mia to backseat you. It's what I did. Ah. Which means, Miss Miney, you did, in fact, go to the channeling chamber. But you didn't go there by the winding way. I think this might have been an... Uh, no, I don't think evidence would have saved me there. But, but look at the manor's guide map. If one were to go between the side room and the channeling chamber, one would have to use the winding way. Yes, that's right, Your Honor. Which is why... Which is why I asked this very important question. Where was the witness at the time of the murder? Um, uh... Miss Miney, please answer the question. Don't ask a question off of a baseless assumption, if you please. Well, I suppose since you've put it on the table, Mr. Phoenix Wright, you might as well answer the question for us. Where was the witness at the time of the murder? Now's your chance, Phoenix. Yeah, the only person who could have killed Dr. Gray was Eeny Meeny. So now is the time to prove it. Now then, Mr. Wright, let's hear your answer. Where was the witness when the murder took place? That bitch Wyland. Miss Miney was here, of course. What? But, but that's the channeling chamber. Isn't that the crime scene? That's right. Miss Miney was the, at the crime scene. Order, order, order! That's... Why, that is... Oh! Mr. Phoenix Wright, have you lost your mind? Yesterday's testimony established that only the victim and the defendant were in the chamber when the channeling started. Yes, yes, that is correct. Please explain yourself, Mr. Wright. Simple. Miss Eenie Meenie was hiding at the crime scene. I... I was hiding? Where? Like, where was I? You're behind the thing inside the box. Here, of course. B behind the folding screen? Ah! Don't make me say this again. Recall yesterday's testimony. There ain't no way anyone was ha hanging out behind that folding screen. See, you stupid jerk. Quit being so quick and dependent on me, slime ball. Now, now, Miss Miney, 
One so young as you shouldn't be saying. Shut it, Gramps, as if you know exactly how old I am. I'm sorry. Looks like the pipe's about to burst. Guess I should help it along. The witness is hiding behind the folding screen with the help of this. Miss Mining, how you were able to hide yourself at the crime scene is very simple. You were hiding inside this box. Ah! Th that tiny little box? No person could fit in that. Sorry, but your theory has already been disproved. Lotta disproved you when she was hiding from me in it. Yeah, this case gives you a good sense of direction, but there's enough challenge that you feel rewarded pointing out contradictions. This trial is a perfect example. Literally, so far, the only things about this case that have bothered me is that the game kind of presented the Cyclops like, Oh, hey, you can do this right now. And it isn't until, like, like at least the first one was kind of presented that way, which was wrong. And then the other ones were also kind of presented as, Oh, these should be simple. Maybe I can do them. But when in actuality, it's best to wait until you're done with all further leads and then do them. But the only other thing that kind of bothered me was the blast burn on the, uh, the the Maya costume. Because it's the lack of blast burn that proves it's important. And that's the only other thing that tripped me up a lot. Um. But that clothing box was in the side room, right? Which means it has nothing to do with the murder at all. But that's right. I was sleeping there, so I should know. The clothing box is there in the side room the whole time. Hmm, Mr. Wright, do you think you can prove? Yes. And now I present the piece of evidence that will prove this clothing box was at the scene of the crime and the murder took place. Folding screen! Take a look at this clothing box. You're so stupid as if there's any sort of evidence in that old thing. Th this was on Earth? Oh! I don't have time for you to sit there surprised. Hurry up and say it already. Th there's a hole about eight inches off the ground. Hmm, a hole about eight inches off the ground. Where have we heard that before? The folding screen. It had a hole at the same height. That's right. I hope this has opened your eyes to what happened. At the time of the shooting, the clothing box was sitting behind the folding screen, which is why the bullet from the pistol hit both the box and the folding screen. It went through the screen and then into the box. Eh? Miss Miney, you were hiding behind the folding screen, waiting for your chance. Yes, for your chance to kill Dr. Gray. Ah! Order, order! So what you're saying is... Then, Mr. Phoenix Wright, what about the picture? Are you saying that this person in this photo is Miss Eeny Meeny? That's exactly what I'm saying. Miss Eeny Meeny, you were hiding inside this clothing box all along. And you wore a medium's costume to masquerade as Maya Fey. T to masquerade as Maya Fey? She had it planned from the very beginning. She would kill Dr. Gray and pin the blame on my client. N no stop. I can't stand to listen to any more of this foolishness. If that's the case, Mr. Phoenix Wright, we and I have a proposition. This whole idea that the witness moved the clothing box to the crime scene, pretended to be the defendant, killed the victim, and then fled the scene of the crime. It's not possible for one person to do that all by itself. Correct. It really is impossible for one person to do all the preparations, that is. Ow! Need I remind you the foolish receive no mercy. Wait, Miss Von Karma. You said it was not possible for one person, correct? What? And it all falls into place. Yes, it does. You can't be serious. Uh... Miss Miney, you had an accomplice. Uh, this person? If it wasn't someone from Curing Village, you couldn't have gotten the costume. And if it wasn't someone from the Fey household, you wouldn't have the, that box to use. Morgan Fey? Isn't that the wonderful lady witness we had earlier? What do you have to say to this, Miss Miney? Uh, uh, you shot Dr. Gray with your own two hands. Do you deny it? Ooh. <laughs> Breakdown time. I think this is what really happened. 
The murderer had planted her, the murderer had planted herself at the scene of the crime long beforehand. Dressed in a medium's costume and wearing a wig, she pretended to be the defendant. And then the channeling started. The murderer crept silently towards the other two, both of whom had their eyes closed. First, she drugged Maya Fey with a strong sleeping agent. Then, she stabbed Dr. Gray with the knife. Which wouldn't make sense because it only had Maya's fingerprints on them, but I guess they could have wiped it and then gotten new ones again. Hmm. Next, she hid my client inside the clothing box. She did that so she could take Maya's place and frame her for the crime. So when the bullet... And then I guess... The dude woke up enough to shoot the gun once, which went through the screen and the box and narrowly missed hitting Maya inside the box, which caused the, uh, hole in her suit. But that's when something unexpected happened. Unexpected? Yes. Dr. Gray was actually not dead yet. With the last of his strength, he fired a shot at his attacker. And that is why the hole in the folding screen was so low to the ground. The murderer then took the gun from Dr. Gray and bang. After that, you and the other lady thought to break into the room. Yes, a gunshot is certainly something you wouldn't expect to hear. Which is why upon hearing the shots, we forced our way into the channeling room. Miss Miney, she immediately covered her own costume with blood and pretended to be Maya Fey. But, but that sort of deception would have been easy to see through. Which is precisely why Miss Morgan Fey chased us out. Please leave this area to me. Go quickly and inform the police. Hurry before there are more victims here. But what is one supposed to say? This is the real truth behind this murder. <laughs> Who is that? Laughing at a time like this. Ah! Oh, you simple-minded fools, I'm sorry. Are you still, by chance, evolving? What is this? What is it this time? But Miss Von Karma, surely. Of course it was me. Do you really think someone of Von Karma blood would lose due to something this petty? So gullible. Haven't you played enough AA to not to recognize a fake breakdown? Yeah, because we haven't gotten the actual, like, super breakdown. What in the world? Mr. Phoenix Wright, your argument is flawed in one very crucial area. And that is? If this witness is the real murderer, why would she go through all this trouble? Huh? Because it was her sister and or her seeking revenge, working together with a medium, pretending to be one, putting on this whole act. What reason would she have to do such foolish things? Eh? Huh? Well, that's, uh... Yeah, that's right. That's exactly what I was gonna say. Oh, and one other thing. Don't worry, based on everything I've seen, you'll enjoy the ending to this case. Ooh. Why would Miss Eenie Meenie want to kill Dr. Gray? Where is her motive? Yeah, that's exactly what I wanted to say, too. Yeah, motive. I don't have a motive. A uh, motive. That's... can't say she has no motive here. I have to think of a motive now. I do know. The reason you wanted Dr. Gray dead is this. Heh, <laughs> just as I thought you bore me your silly answers, Phoenix Wright. But that should be great. Now she's even now even she's calling me my full name. You think I did this to get revenge for my sister's death? Yes! Because through that accident you suffered a lot of hurt and pain yourself. Don't be stupid. No one has proof that Dr. Gray drugged my sister right, and you want to say I want to take revenge based on nothing? B what do you mean by that? I mean in the first game they arrested all sorts of people who lack motives. Exactly! See now, stupid Gramps. I'm, like, going to explain, so, like, please listen, okay? This chorus just chronically favors the anti-Phoenix. If I, like, wanted revenge, then, like, I wouldn't have waited this long. Um, and besides, like, the guy that thought that the spirit thing was, like, Dr. Gray. It was, like, a total coincidence he asked me about it, you know? She, she's back to her airheaded persona. However, you see... Ouch! Pathetic, Mr. Phoenix, right? You failed to support your own theory. Curtsy. The end. 
I think we have our answer, Mr. Phoenix Wright. What Miss Maney has stated is very true. The revenge plan is overly complicated and she has no motive in the first place. Furthermore, there is no reason for Miss Morgan Fay to cooperate with this plan. You don't even have any truly decisive piece of evidence to dis demonstrate your point. Tisk tisk. So many faults, Mr. Phoenix Wright, you should have really learned your place. What happened? I thought I had her for sure. <laughs> See, like, it's just as I, like, told you. I hope you liked your slice of humble pie. Well, now I conclude the cross-examination of Miss Eeny Miney. <laughs> Hold it! Who said that? Your Honor, please allow the defense one more minute. All right. You can't lose here. Have faith in yourself, Phoenix. Mia. Yes, it does sound like a ridiculously messed up plan for murder. But, you know, regardless, that girl train uh, that girl trained for this crime. Really? Listen, Phoenix. Everything happens for a reason. There's a reason for why she had to kill Dr. Gray. And it also and it is also the reason she had no choice but to kill him in this fashion. Time is up, Mr. Wright. Your final answer, please. If you want to say that you can prove Miss Miney had a motive then, why did she kill the victim this way? Can you provide a reason? Can I? Well, this is Phoenix Wright, Well, we bluff to the ends of the earth. I'm not totally confident here, but I know that I must press on no matter what. That's right, Phoenix. Only you can do this now. I will show and substantiate the fact that Miss Miney had a motive. <laughs> too bad, you're too late. My cross-examination has already ended, after all. Ah! Interesting. I'll let you have your chance, Mr. Phoenix Wright. What? You're supposed to be on my side! I! Avon Karm only cares about the perfect win. As long as you have the will to fight, I will knock you down, Mr. Phoenix Wright. And I don't care if you are my witness, so help me, I will throw you out of my way. No way. Very well. The court will take a five-minute recess. We will continue the cross-examination after we reconvene. <laughs> hey, wait a second, I... <laughs> wow, that was nice. Not often the cross... It's not often that the prosecution is on my side while being against me. Ooh. Well, I guess we might as well head to the end of this. See if we can end this. <laughs> Unless we go into a third investigation point. Is it really true? About my aunt? I'm afraid so, Maya. There's no way Eni could have killed Dr. Gray by herself. And under the circumstances, there's no one else other than your Aunt Morgan. It was actually Pearl. Haha. <laughs> that... that's terrible. Why? Why would my aunt... Everything is going just as I predicted, Mr. Phoenix, right? Aha! Ah! Miss Von Karma! Why are you doing this? Why are you trying to take revenge on Nick? Nick had nothing to do with what happened to your dad. No, you're close to the end. I'd advise to do it while you're engaged and have the momentum. Ah, just as I thought. Don't you have something better to be worrying about? Say, your own situation? Um, looking down on me even though we're the same age. Are you done yet? You've caused me enough pain and suffering. Not yet. My goal is to defeat you and let the whole world know of your defeat. But even if you do that, it won't bring your father back. Heh. <laughs> Whatever. In the meantime, let's bring this match to its conclusion. And then we'll know who the real winner is. I like your design. I like the, like, teal and blue in it. Court will now reconvene, Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor. Can you prove Miss Eeny Meeny had a motive? Yes, I believe I can. Eeny Meeny and Dr. Gray have only one point of connection, and that is the car accident one year ago. The motive I'm looking for must be there. Miss Miney, please testify to the court about your car accident last year. Huh? I thought, like, you wanted me to, like, ask me about, like, motive. I, like, don't see the point in, like, bringing up the past. Miss Miney, if you please. Okay, okay. Like, I totally don't think uh, it'll do any good, but... Let us see... 
That was, like, last year in May. Like, something really bad had happened at, like, my sister's clinic around then. Yep, in May. And, like, the night of the accident, my sister was totally tired while she was driving. Let's see, May 24th. I was, like, totally pooped, too, so I, like, fell asleep in the passenger seat. I, like, woke up because of Jold and, like, it was a sea of flames around me. I, like, opened the door and, like, got away. Hmm, I think I've heard of this incident. It was all the talk of the tabloid shows day after day last year. Yes, and there was talk about Dr. Gray drugging your sister. Ah! Those were merely rumors, totally baseless gossip. Yes, Mr. Wright, you may question the witness. Right now, it's impossible to prove that Dr. Gray did, in fact, drug Miss Miney's sister. Yeah, which means I'll have to work from another angle. That was, like, last year. No reason to push there. Mm. Yeah, and I don't, there's nothing really here that to uh, point out, so I'm going to do this one. This one seems more important. She was totally tired. You mean exhausted? Like, she had to talk to the police and, like, was being investigated, like, every day. It was, like, a totally terrible situation. It's no wonder then the car accident happened, huh? Well, let's press harder. So then why didn't you ask to switch places? Like, what are you talking about? I mean switching drivers. If your sister was so tired, then you should have switched with her. True, true. Uh, but, like, I don't, like, have a driver's license. You do. This is news to me. It was not aware you didn't have your license, Miss Miney. Hmm. Miss Miney, please amend your testimony, and then I'll object to that because I have your goddamn thing. And then the night I was driving, I was, like, totally pooped, like, the passengers. Hmm. The accident happened at night, correct? Yeah, like it was 1 a.m. or so, I think. I had, like, a paper due, like, really soon. So, like, I hadn't slept and was working, like, real hard. So it was because the two of you were tired that this accident happened. Hmm. We'll press on everything and then the driver's license one, because that's important. And your sister, what happened to her? I, I didn't see her. The car was, like, totally black and there was, like, a ton of smoke. I, like... Totally had, like, no clue what was going on. I, like, opened the door and like to, like, get away. Please tell us about your escape in more detail. I, I, like, kept wanting to forget that time. So, like, I don't remember things about the accident in, like, detail anymore. Mm, well, it's all right. No need to push yourself. I think I, like, gave an interview after the accident. Like, that would probably be the most accurate, you know? Hmm. If it's that article, then I've already got it. Well, we might as well take a look again. I was like in total drop to sleep, then there was this crash, I like woke up, a huge play plans, half asleep, but I opened the right door and got out, I don't like remember anything else. Alright. And now... Objection! Objection. Miss Miney, that was a lame lie just now. Like, what do you mean? I know you had a license back then. This is a photo you took for your express purpose of getting a driver's license. Um, what is the meaning of this, Miss Miney? Uh, um, uh, that's, that's right. Yeah, I had, like, a license, but... But I didn't get it until after the accident. Nope, you had it. You had it at the time of the accident. Director Hottie, or the guy pretending to be him anyway, said so. What, are you talking about the perverted fake clinic doctor? Yes, the perverted fake clinic doctor, and ow! Youch! No one cares. Witness, when did you receive a driver's license? Like, last November. What? November? The accident happened last May. That's half a year lapse in time, Mr. Phoenix Wright. What in the... the, the that's what happened, Mr. Wright. At the time of the accident, Miss Mighty did not have a license. Uh, but... Cry and may, my whip will accommodate. Anyway, without a license, the witness and her sister could not have switched drivers. I'm, like, glad you get it, but, like, even if I had my license, I, like, don't think my sister would have, like, let me drive. Hmm. Ow! Don't just stand there and mean to yourself. 
Not you too, Mia. With the whip and the pain and the owl. Miss Miney, why do you think you would not have been allowed to drive? Uh, um, that's because... I think the situation calls for a more detailed testimony. Miss Miney, if you please. Eh, like, how annoying. Oops, like, sorry, didn't mean to be mean. But we can literally say that testimony says that the reason that she looks the way she does is the plastic surgery from her driver's license. Like, around that time, I was, like, really close to getting my license. But my sis was, like, this totally big fan of cars and, like, really valued them. She, like, had just gotten this really shiny, bright red sports car. She, like, would say things like, no way am I letting a noob drive my car. So, like, that's why I ended up in the passenger seat that night, too. Hmm, I see. A bright red sports car. Now then, the defense may question the witness. I'm not terribly knowledgeable about cars, but... Let's do it. Like, around the time I was really close to my... We'll just ignore that, because... Everything else is... I, I don't know. I don't think that's important anymore. Ah, well, let's do it. So, what do you mean by really close? Like, I had one of those permit things. I think that's what they're called. Um, permit. Wow, the big name lawyer boy doesn't even know what a driver's permit is. Well, this lawyer never had a permit. Ah! Ignore ignorance is to be whipped. What is with her? All she said in the last few minutes is utter nonsense. So, like, may I continue? My sis was, like, this totally big fan of cars, and, like, she really valued him. She valued cars? How much would she say she valued her car? Well, like, she'd flip out at, like, a drop of rain. And, like, she would notice that someone, like, touched the car door with dirty hands. In that case, why bother taking a car out of the garage go ever? Why did she take such special care of her car? How can you say that? It was a brand spanking new car. New car? Like, you wouldn't want to, like, get it dirty, would you, Mr. Lawyer? I would think that cars getting dirty is just another fact of life, but I guess people who really love cars think otherwise. Phoenix, try asking something of more significance, all right? Well, Miss Miney, what kind of car was it? Rich people stuff, exactly. She like it just got in this really big shiny sports car. It was a new car. Yeah, she had like just gotten it, like from the UK. Hmm, the UK. What are those for boyfriend's initials? And it was a really special model. She had waited for a whole year for it to arrive. I guess her love of cars would be the, the obvious next to the topic. And if, I think we're ro ro rolling back to my idea that she really is Mimi because the right door would have on a UK car would be the driver's, isn't it? I really don't know anything about cars, but I had a feeling this was bound to come up. I was waiting for this moment in your reaction. <laughs> he was just like, I, I got the right answer even though I was wrong. Your Honor. Please have the witness append what she just said in her testimony. You mean the part about it being a special import car? Yes. Uh, well, if you like cars that much. That's not my point. Well, to be honest, I don't know what the point is either. Miss Miney, would you please fix your testimony? Sure, whatever. All right, press. New car from England. I yelled, hold it pretty forcefully, but I don't actually know. Ask for the heck of it. Um, so yes. What am I supposed to pick for a topic? Let's start with why are British cars good? Like, huh? They're expensive and their driver's seat is opposite to the R cars here in the States. It would seem there's no benefit to owning one. Like, huh? This whole steering wheel on the right side thing is kind of goofy, isn't it? You? What do you know? That sleek shape the- Your sister loved her car so much, then why are you getting upset, lady? Uh, forgive me. Personality really changes at the drop of a hat. It's interesting, isn't it, Phoenix? Bit by bit, we're beginning to see the real contradiction behind this case. She, like, would say, like, no way am I letting a noob drive my car. Was your sister good at driving? She was, like, totally awesome. She, like, said she was going to be, like, the racing queen of nursing world. Way to draw attention to the contradiction with weird presses, Phoenix. <laughs> Somehow, I think she bumped my question off track again. So, like, that's why I ended up in the passenger seat that night. And that was when the accident occurred, right? And somehow not getting penalized for going off about car styles. Wacky. I guess it depends if the, like, persecution brings it up. If it was Miles Edgeworth, he would probably go, Phoenix, this has nothing to do with the case at hand. Judge, please slap him on the butt. 
I, like, immediately reached for the passenger side door and fled, like, in a daze. Hmm. Sounds like you had a terrifying time. There's something very big here. It's going to be hard to break apart such a natural-sounding testimony, but we have to attack it, and by doing so, a flaw will show itself. It has to. Do you really think so? Believe it. There's a path I know it. Hmm, he almost sounds like a prophet for a second there. I believe... That... Do I bring up the car? I do believe. Objection! Miss Miney, do you remember this article? Huh? It's an article about the accident. You had said this in it. But I opened the right door and, like, got out. That's correct, isn't it? Like, why are you suddenly asking me about that? This is such a satisfying moment. Yeah, it's just like, <laughs> the moment they brought up it was a UK car, and it's just like, aha, my time has come. And I was like, hmm, but how do I actually bring that up? And it's like, aha, news articles. Your Honor, which side is the passenger's seat? The left or the right? Well, it's on the right side, of course, because the driver's on the left side. That would be it if it were an American car. But it would be the opposite in a British car. Opposite? The two of them were riding in a British car. In that case, the passenger side would be the left side. Ah! What do you mean by this? Miss Miney, you said that you had escaped using the right side door. But if you were sitting there, then that means you were in the driver's seat. Ah! Uh, order! Order in the court! Order! Order! Ah! Mr. Phoenix Wright is blabbering nonsense again. Amy said the person who was driving was her older sister, Mimi Miney. That is what I, Amy said, yes. But that is where her story falls apart. Somewhere, all of us made a big error in our assumptions. Phoenix, it looks like you finally found the real root of this murder. If we connect all the dots, there can only be one answer. I'd like to ask the court a question. Amy or Mimi, who was driving that night? I'm going to say Mimi. The answer is the one person who had their driver's license, Mimi Mining. After all, that makes her the only person. But, but you just said the witness, Miss Eeny Meeny, was the one in the driver's seat. Which leads us to the next question. The next? The next question? Who is the person standing at the witness stand right now? Uh... What sort of idiotic ruse is this, Mr. Phoenix Wright? That this witness name, the witness's name is... I'll tell you what her name really is. The witness's real name... is Mimi Miney. <laughs> because, of course, people never drive without a license. That's true. Mimi Miney, that is your real name. Of all the foolish dribble, th th then how do you explain her appearance? This witness had severe facial burns when she was admitted into the hospital. So for the purpose of facial reconstruction, the surgeons used a photo. Facial reconstruction surgery? This is the picture she gave to her doctors at the time. That's right. It's a picture of her younger sister. So this is one of the most satisfying AA streams I've watched. Thank you. It's amazing when people figure out the twist long beforehand. It's mostly just because I was running through every possibility because, again, at first I thought it was Morgan manipulating Pearl to channel the knocked-out spirit of Maya, who would go in and then channel the spirit of Mimi, who would then kill Dr. Gray somehow. That was my first thought, or, like, something along those lines. It's just like, let's go super hard on craziness. But Mimi Miney, she died in the car accident. That's what everyone thought. However, that was not the case. Then, the body they found at the crash site. That was the body of the real Eeny Meeny. Isn't that right, Miss Mimi Miney? That car accident one year ago. The one who died that night was Eeny Meeny. Her sister, Mimi, then stole her face and was reborn as Eeny. With this, she effectively erased Mimi Miney from existence. Your Honor, 
I'm sure you can now see why Mimi had to kill Dr. Gray. B what do you mean? Ah! What is the meaning of this nonsense? Dr. Gray wanted to call back the spirit of a dead person. So if they brought back the spirit of the person who died on the night of the car crash, it would have been the real Mimi. Specifically, the spirit of his nurse that died in the crash, Mimi Miney. How what oh, would have been the real Mimi, my bad, Eeny. However, that would not have been possible because Mimi Miney was still in fact alive. And that fact would have been discovered had the channeling been conducted. So this witness had to stop that from happening. At all costs. And, and, and that's why she had to kill Dr. Turner Gray? Is that what you're saying? Yes. Before the channeling, Dr. Gray had the misfortune of consulting this witness about communicating with the dead. And in that moment, his fate was sealed. Well, Miss Eni, I mean Miss Von Com Ah! Why did you say my name just now? Looks like I've been unmasked. Witness? That's right, I admit it. My real name is Mimi Miney. That quack doctor. He got what he deserved in the end. And I was so close to finally ditching Mimi, too. So close. But, but why? Why would you go so far as to throw away yourself? Yeah, this twist was really something. Great case. It does fit so well into everything. It all ties together so well. To become your own sister. I think I understand why. Is it because of the scandal? Mimi Miney wanted her old self to disappear because... That that's... That's about the malpractice incident. Dr. Gray was right. The mistake was caused by the nurse. A nurse by the name of Mimi Miney. That's right, the person standing before us today. And a few weeks after this mishap... Mimi Miney had a car accident in which she lost her younger sister. But the timing couldn't have been worse. Fourteen patients dying in that incident and her own sister's life extinguished. It was all too much to bear. I found a way for myself to escape it all. In the only way. She lost everything in the flames of that accident. Her sister, and even her own face. This was her last chance. Her chance to throw away her past and start a new life as her sister. Unbelievable. A plan beyond my wildest imagination. That jerk. If only he hadn't thought of that channeling mumbo jumbo. Mumbo jumbo? Becoming Eni has been the most horrible experience in the world. Spirit channeling the occult. I hate it. I hate it all. I believe there are still a few unresolved riddles here, such as... Why did Miss Miney choose to go with such a complicated plan? Has the judge forgotten turnabout goodbyes? That's the judge. He probably forgets a lot of things. <laughs> and why did Miss Morgan Fay agree to help her execute it? Regardless, I believe one thing has been made crystal clear. The innocence of the defendant, Maya Fay. That this... This is preposterous! I... I'm perfect! Me, Franziska Von Karma! I'm going to enjoy the news tonight, Miss Von Karma. How about you? It's going to be broadcast all over the world, right? Your defeat, that is. Ow! Oh! Ah! Ow! 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 Why? Ah! She's just... Holy shit, she just keeps going. And one more for good measure! That was like four. How is that not assault? Phoenix! Hang in there, Phoenix! Phoenix! This court is a fraud, a sham! I love Franzika and all, but some of her defeated lines really feel like telling, not showing. Yeah. Now then, it looks like it will be some time before Mr. Wright regains consciousness, so I'll go ahead and pronounce the verdict. Not guilty. Woot! That is all. This court is adjourned. 
Also, this is the second time Phoenix has been knocked out in court. Granted, last time it was with a fire extinguisher on the couch, but still. Congratulations, Maya. Sis! Oh, that's right! They've never met like this before! This is adorable! Thoughts on this case, and on Justice for All so far? I'll give that once we get to the save point. It's good to see you, Maya. How are you doing? Sis! Sis! I didn't kill anyone, did I? No, you didn't. It was all just a dream. A really bad dream. You know, sis? You know, sis? In my dream, I smelled a really familiar scent. A familiar scent? I was inside that clothing box, right? That box. That was the box you used to store your clothes in a long time ago. That's right. Hmm. There's still one thing I don't quite get. What's that? What would have happened if Mimi hadn't shot Dr. Gray? I mean, we broke in because we heard a gunshot. I think Mimi Miney had planned to open the door to the chamber herself. And then you and Lada would have witnessed a quite a scene. A possessed Maya Fey who had just committed a murder. She had it planned down to the smallest detail, huh? Nick! Congrats, Maya. Thanks! Looks like you bailed me out of another jam. Well, you know... But... I really don't want something like this to happen ever again. I'm fine because I have you to help me out, Nick. But every time something happens, I lose someone special to me. First my sister, and now my aunt. Hey, Nick, tell me. Tell me why my aunt went and did something so horrible. Why would she help Mimi Miney with a plan like that? Because she was jealous of her sister being the younger one to get the power. So if you're just in case you present the wrong motive for Morgan, exactly. I just... I just don't understand it, Nick. Why, it's over. Why don't we just let it be? Nick, please, I need an answer. The reason Morgan helped Mimi with her plan was... Would it be the sacred urn? Hmm. Because I need to present the proper thing. It's either the urn... Or Ami Fei herself. Or would it be the Magatama? Hmm. Because it has to do... Or would it be presenting her profile because she's the master? I present Sacred Urn. I don't get it. Yeah, me neither. Darn. Because I know what I want to present, I just don't know how to present it. Would it be the Magatama? Nope. Let's see, is it in the profiles, does it say? Could it be Pearl? Maya? Darn. Because again, I know exactly what I want to present to her. I just don't know how to do it. Do I need to present Ami? Yeah, I've seen other streamers make this mistake and I didn't want you to miss out on it. Let's see. Ami Fei. Darn you. It's that she wants to be the master. Because the only things I can think of is the folding screen, the key... The folding screen, key... Is it her because of Branch family? Alright, next I'll try Pearl, then I'll try the key. Pearly? Four years from now, a new master will be born into Kurain Village. And that person will be you, Maya. And? But if you weren't there, then the main family's bloodline would disappear. And what would happen then? The Branch family? My aunt? No. Morgan's spiritual power is too weak. The next person would be Pearls. Ah! Everything was done for her sake. It was also that Pearls would become the next master. 
Yeah, I can see that. Did Maya say something just now? I think that she was saying... I thought so. Did she foresee this to a degree? Date and time unknown. Detention center. Solitary confinement. Cell 13. My precious Pearl. You are the only one suitable to be the master of Kirain, dear child. I sacrificed it all. All for you. I helped that brainless nurse carry out the murder. And cooperated with that whip-happy prosecutor. It was all to unseat that annoying, witless main family girl. Amazing sequel hook, that's also true. That Maya Fay. But I shall be patient, my dearest Pearl. A chance will present itself. Your time will come. Your time will come. Reunion and turnabout, the end. And of course, we got the achievement for that as well. With a brand new episode, Turnabout Big Top. Why does that sound like uh, Turnabout Samurai? But all right. Now that that's that, we shall give my thoughts on this case and the game so far. In my opinion, this is a fantastic, absolutely loaded case. It has interesting characters. It brought back Lada, and she seemed to play a decent role again. I also like the two shots. <laughs> That's how I reacted last time. Two gunshots. It's gotta be Lada. But I also like that it is an amazing locked door mystery. That it, uh, it just lights your imagination on fire as to what it could have been. Granted, I think they, pay, like, point to the incinerator a bit too much. Also, I'm kind of disappointed that we couldn't just say, hey, the Miss Meanie Miney was burning a, a spirit medium costume that has blood on it. Don't you think that's weird? Come on, Maya, you don't lose someone in your life every time. I mean, Pearl didn't even exist before the second game. You ganked someone! <laughs> that's a good point. <laughs> But, yeah, the case is absolutely great. I think Pearl is an adorable addition. I like that Lada was helpful and helped out with this case. I like the fact that the motive was, like, two-pronged on it. And, I, like, even though I kind of called the twist of Mimi being Eeny, like, once we... The moment I heard plastic surgery, my brain just went, Aha! They plastic surgeried someone to look like, like Maya. But wait, no, that doesn't make sense. And then the moment that the fake doctor guy said that she had come in and showed her picture to be reconstructed, I was like, oh, that's when I got it. Favorite Ace Attorney case so far? Ooh. It, honestly... Turnabout Goodbyes, a.k.a. the one against uh, Von Karma Sr., is got to be my favorite so far, but this is a damn close second. This is a really close second because just how deep it goes, how dense it is, how many twists and turns there are, how imaginative it is, it is so good. Granted, you don't get to uh, cross-examine a parrot, only to realize that the persecution had retrained the parrot within a day, but... <laughs> Still, this is a fantastic second case. And I like Lotta, but I feel she just reappears a few too many times later in the series. Which is funny, because earlier I said I would love for her to appear more if she had, like, a kind of older sister dynamic with Phoenix. Cause, but at the same time, if she does appear, it'll be, like, in a witness role, and I don't think that helps. Just, just imagine if Lotta was, like, his assistant in a case once, and she was, like, behind the... Like, uh, defense attorney stand with Phoenix for a case. That would be hilarious. Good opinions all around. I wonder what you'll think about Turn About Big Top. I don't know. Like, again, it sounds a lot like Turn About Samurai, and I've heard that some people dislike Turn About Samurai. I liked it. I like Turn About Samurai because it's kind of a breather from the overarching stuff going on in the rest of the first Ace Attorney game, as well as it, like, is... it. Teaches the player about longer cases while also being a breather between, like, super story cases. That's my opinion on Silver Samurai. Not Silver, yeah. Steel Samurai. Silver Samurai is a Marvel character. But in the end, it just depends on the characters and the execution of the case. 
Yeah, I just think she's kind of superfluous the next time she appears. It's not too bad. <laughs> Samurai's underrated. Yeah. But let's see. Uh, but honestly, the thing that surprised me the most about the game so far is that the tutorial case was super long. I thought it was just going to be another, like, 20, 30-minute case. No, it was an hour and a half. And it was, like, in-depth. And I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, the amnesia bit is a little silly, but at the same time, kind of epic near the end for what it facilitated. And yeah, so far, Justice for All is really cool. I think the game so far could have treated the Cyclops and the Magatama a bit better in that it shouldn't have, like, made me, like, because the first time the Cyclops appeared, the game made it feel like I could do it right away. And then... The same thing with the other ones. The Cyclox appear, and it's like, ah, oh, this is the new mechanic. I want to use the new mechanic. When that's not the optimal way of doing it at all. Yeah, just wait until the Great Ace Tutorial 1. Its tutorial is way too long. Oh, boy. <laughs> but, yeah. I just feel like the tutorial stuff around the Magatama and the Cyclox should have advocated for, like, I don't know, Pearl might should have said, even though there's only one lock on her Cyclox, maybe you should look around to make sure you're fully prepared to take it on. Or something like that. Because the way they had Pearl introduce Cyclox made it feel like I was supposed to dive right in and win the day right there. Which I don't think it was. And then again, the every single time with the Cyclox, it's best practice to completely annihilate everything else, and then once you have nothing else to do, come back to the most prevalent... Cyclox, but I do think that the Cyclox are a magnificent addition to the game because it adds contradiction finding in the investigation field, which is the main super cool thing about Ace Attorney, finding contradictions, using evidence. And I also do like that this case really makes use of the like identity profiles being used as contradiction things where it constantly has you like hey remember profiles can now be used as evidence for contradictions and finding stuff these are all fair points i still think the game is pretty good for its short production time that is the thing despite the fact that the there were a few weirdness like the blast burn on maya's uh blah 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 sleeve not really being obvious to me even though they did go on for a few like text boxes going over blast burn because I feel like they should have had a piece of evidence that did have Blast Burn. So that when they said both this evidence that I created for my example and the costume were both shot with the gun. And that would clue the player in. But then where is the Blast Burn on Maya's sleeve? That's just my opinion though. But yeah, so far this has been a very cool sequel. I feel like it's raised the stakes. The tutorial level was uh, much more cool than Frank saw with the secondary case. In, okay, I'm going to be frank. This case blows the red, white, blue guy's case out of the water. Because, in my opinion, red, white should have been a far bigger thing than what he was. I understand why, because it was the, only the second case and everything, but the second case of Ace Attorney lacked grandeur. This had that grandeur. It had the buildup. It had the feeling. It was just really, really good. This is a very good case, and again, this is probably my second favorite case only behind Turnabout Goodbye. Sisters was good for Ma me and Maya, but the characters were underwhelming once you get more into the series. Yeah, precisely. It, like, it's a good step, but in hindsight, it definitely hurts. And I think that's why they did uh, Rise from the Ashes the way they did. Because the villain of that one is basically Red White 2.0, but just much cooler, in my opinion. And not to mention he has an epic breakdown. <laughs> but, yeah. I, this has so far been really good, and I can't wait to see what comes next. Some people say Big Top is the worst case in the series, but then the final case of Justice for All is a masterpiece. You'll like it. Hmm. Well, it depends, because the only things that I think would make me hate a case is annoying, like, making contradictions hard to find or annoying, or, like, uh... 
if it's stupid or badly designed. I think that's it. Mostly badly designed. Frustration tends to get me more than, like, poorly written stuff. I'll just go like, ha ha ha. Like... The annoying stuff of uh, Rise from the Ashes is due to some poor design things, in my opinion, from time to time. But all the great aspects rise it up. So we'll definitely have to see what the Big Top has in store for us next time. But, yes, thank you very much for watching. Oh, yeah, I found Big Top to be that way, but we'll see. But, yes. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. If you want more from me, I have two YouTube channels, an edited content YouTube channel that I swear content is coming to eventually. And, of course, the streaming YouTube channel that I both dual stream to, as well as upload all of my uh, past streams to for posterity. They are Neon Icy Wings for edited content and Neon Icy Games for the streaming content. And then, of course, if you prefer Twitch, you can watch me on twitch.tv slash Neon Icy Wings. Let's see. Yeah, uh, the stupid clown's testimony was my only problem. <laughs> oh boy, I can't wait to face the stupid clown. Oh, maybe I should give him Binky the Clown's voice from uh, Garfield and Friends. Yeah, thanks for this great stream. Have a good night, and thank you. As well, if you want other things from me, like my uh, little avatar character in the corner, I upload art to various social sites like DeviantArt, Twitter, uh, Newgrounds, Inkblot, just all over the place, Tumblr. You can find all of my social media links in my link tree, which should be found in any bio places, description places, or link places, and it should be linktr.ee slash neonicywings. But yes, thank you very much for watching, everybody, and I hope to see you guys next time. Bye-bye.